Do 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 do. Ba da ba da ba da ba ba da. Is that the music? <laughs> How to get copyright struck in three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the Bandao stream today on this fine. 5th of June 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week's been pretty alright because I've been game clearing. I've been feeling good. I've been knocking off a couple of games. Um, and uh, other than that, um, it's June. It's cold. Why is it so cold? I don't like it being cold. It's not even that freezing cold, but it's just because uh, <laughs> my, my, my apartment isn't the most... Uh, I guess airtight. It's hot in the summer, cold in the winter. I got something going on there. But you know what's not going on? Uh, or rather is going on? It's going to be on. That's correct. I'm jumping to... <coughs> the stream! Yes. So today, uh, I'm playing more Pokemon Sapphire. Uh, <laughs> you probably would have guessed. But uh, in the last stream... Um, Pretty much a bunch. I fought two gyms, and then I wandered a bunch out east, all the way. We oh, and also took out the power plant down south, and got myself a wonderful, wonderful experience share as well to boot. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, also two new party members. Lots of stuff last stream. Jeez, it's almost as if the stream went for three hours. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I'll be continuing on. Man, they got the level thirty wing girls already showing up all the time. Also, I made the huge error of thinking that my starter evolved at level 32. I was wrong. It's 33. It's, thir it's 36. It'd be, it'd be weird if it was 33. There he is. Evolved. But yeah. So I've got a couple of trainers still left to get to the next kind of landmark. And honestly, man, it's such a trek, isn't it? I don't remember it being this much of a trek. But the challenge is the fact that, like, all these wild Pokemon are at least, like, you know, well, when you're surfing, it's 30. It catches you out real bad. Kind of interesting. Um, I'm rocking the experience share on Riff Raff here. We're trying to get him up some levels, but, uh, Sedimentar is chilling at 24, and he'll get there. Um, Rebox, I think, Rebox evolves at a level, uh, 33, doesn't he? Yeah. So, one day I will learn to have my, uh... Learn to have my my notes opened up for the first time in ever. Here we are. So yeah. Uh, yes, thir thirty-two actually. Sorry, correction, thirty-two. So he'll get there kind of soonish. Um, and it's really weird because he's not even like that rough. I would imagine. Oh, you know, maybe he's you know a basic Pokemon, but no, no, he's he's doing all right. Uh, so yeah, let's take out Linu while we're at it. I'm not gonna get anywhere fighting no one, but then, man, you know, like, what, I'm on 45 health already. Yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. So this past week has been, I think, relatively dry on news. I haven't really got any, like, huge news, um, of anything that came out, like, too recently, um... Nah, so it's mostly going to be me news. The news that I've uh, experienced or gone around with. But uh, let me first by, uh, start by saying that, uh, yeah, so I've finished two games over the past week. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you, my man. Should I be carrying a flying Pokemon by now? Maybe. So I didn't cross this bridge. I'm pretty sure uh, you start encountering just... Just more trainers. Who has the knowledge and the technique for survival? Pokemon Rangers, that's who. Oh, they should make a game about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, oh, there's like a lot of trainers here. And we're still... we still got like four or five to go. Uh, so here's a Breloom. Um, he's either going to get me a Grass Attack. He probably is going to get me with a Grass Attack. But then he's going to get me with a Fire Attack. So what do we do? We switch to the Rebox. I should probably have him out begin with. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see if we can get it with this. Ooh, faster as well. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a Oh, we might be good because he's a physical attacker if he hits himself. That's it. Looks lights out. Hey, there we go. 
I don't know why, Rebox is just the luckiest thing. Every single thing seems to be going in my favor when I've got Rebox. Take that, Peter Jackson. Ha ha ha. Uh... I think Sedimenta could get any, like, any damage whatsoever. No? Maybe? <laughs> He's lower level than the Zigzagoons. Maybe I should just be fighting the Zigzagoons. But the problem with fighting a non-evolved Pokémon is that they usually don't give that much experience. And they've got a lot of Oran Berries, apparently. They're really going for it, so... Uh, two games over the past week. These are not games that I have not... Sorry, these games I have mentioned on stream a bunch. Uh, but I'd just like to give a final thoughts. Uh, so... Uh, I think I mentioned uh, the Avengers game, and I will mention it one last time. I'm done with all the achievements, but it was a slog trying to do some of them. They basically were like, oh, you know, you've got to be able to uh, do 50 hives and, and claim 50 of these um, special cache rewards. And the special cache rewards are only at special caches, which spawn in like two or three maps total. It's not fun. I don't know why I'm not using Rock Throw. Is it because... I just don't have any special attack, at all, physical attack at all. Could be, given that I've knocked off half his health. Probably is okay. Ah, every time. Ooh, interesting. Oh, he's got a wing off, yeah. Ah, oh, I should've been using Rock Throw. Will Rock Throw do okay? No, I'm probably gonna get wrecked by the water gun. Maybe maybe better. Okay. Let's switch to Nonogram. Uh, but yeah, no. Such a slog for some of those achievements because, unfortunately, they don't come up in normal play. And I'm, you know, I, I'm like a 50-50 when it comes to achievement grinding. And I guess both these games that I've played, I've done the achievement grind. I've gone for all that can be done in these games. Um, but in this case, this is one where I'm flat out like, no, it's not really worth it. Which Taylor is this? I'll just keep keep Nonogram out. He's got to get a level somehow. And he gets fast. I got this Fury Cutter. Let's build that Fury Cutter. <laughs> That's interesting that it didn't count as any uh, experience for um. For, uh, Slugma. Also, yay, I missed. You think he's got a, a flying type attack? Or is he just going to quick attack spam? Well, quick attack spam gets past, you know, me be building speed, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't feel like uh, this game was worth it in any way, shape, or form, so... Listen, I'm glad I now have learned about it, but... Yeah, not for me, so... I'll leave it at that. Uh, the other game I beat was uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I've put in all the effort to finally beat the game with all uh, 17 plus one ultra bonus character for doing all the um, all the gaps. That's right, I went ahead and did all the gaps and it was a fair bit of work, but not too hard, although uh, I wouldn't recommend finding them yourself. It's it's very difficult to just like go off the names and just go, ah, okay, they meant here. Um, Rely on some, some GameFAQs guides to tell you how to do them, and then figure out how to get them yourself. Learn learn the tricks of the trade. Uh, but yeah, no, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, I would 100% recommend this game for anyone, really. Like, it's amazing how, um, yeah, how I never felt, like, I don't, I mean, I, I feel nostalgia for games. Like, there are, there was an era of games that I grew up with, and I'm definitely like, yeah, you know, like, that kind of mid uh, 2000s kind of wow, man. Like, I know Slugma is slow, but jeez. It's very sad. We're gonna fail five times. We got the fifth one. I'm not sending him up front anymore, which is a shame because he probably is gonna wreck. Uh... Okay, fine. Maybe one more trainer because this, this guy, and I'm like, mm. he's got maybe a shot. No, he's not, but he's probably going to get some experience, and that's all you need. 
Ninja Boy. Takashi. Takashi's challenge? This is his challenge right here. Okay, let's stop the dinging. And move to a Pokemon that's not gonna ding on me. Oh, he's read my mind. He's now gonna know exactly what I'm gonna attack with. And he's gonna keep reading my mind, just in case. Just in case. Um, but yeah, like, despite me never playing any Tony Hawk game or really any skating game before, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 is some game that, like, it, it scratched an incredible itch. It made me realize about a game that I've, you know, like, that's genius. I'll just say that, like, it's incredibly smart how it even works as a game. Um, and uh, it's fun, it just feels so right. Uh, it's got a bunch of great levels, some great soundtrack. I found out, by the way, apparently the Nintendo 64 version uh, attempts to recreate the licensed soundtrack of the PlayStation and the Dreamcast versions, and it's on PC, I think. Um, so it effectively samples like, various songs throughout, like, at various points of the song. Because, because the Nintendo 64, it doesn't have, uh, CD capabilities. You can't put that much storage in it. But just because it doesn't have CD capability doesn't mean it can't play, like, song audio. It just, you know, you can't put... <sighs> Dang it. It just means you can't put a lot of data on the, on the cartridge. So what do you do? You sample like five seconds of a riff and you basically call that riff over and over and over and over again. Um, and then you'll add a voice, a vocal line on top and you'll add maybe like some alternate parts here and there. Some songs they put in a fair bit of effort. Some songs like uh, they start off with um, uh, the Rage Against the Machine song Gorilla Radio that plays during the, the intro. And it's like you can hear the riff, like it doesn't have the, the cadence kind of two bars as part of the riff. It's like do 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 and then it's supposed to like do that three times and then go do 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 It's supposed to do that, but uh it doesn't. Um And uh, also one of the vocal lines it's like uh I don't, I don't know who this who's the singer for Rage Against the Machine. But he's like uh he's supposed to do like a like oh, uh, like some grunts as part of the part of the song. And, uh, for some reason on the Nintendo 64 version, the second one of these grunts is like, well, it's close enough, and they rewinded the first one, which I assume saves storage quite a bit, but... Uh, you rewound the riff. You rewound the vocals. It sounds so obvious you rewound the vocals. He's focusing that energy. I should just use strain. That's gonna, probably gonna do it pretty alright. Whoa. I guess he just found this energy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we got we got a 50-50 going on here. Mm -hmm. It wasn't 50-50. Oh, now it's 50-50. I'm just gonna get swept by a swallow. I'm just missing constantly. Kind of annoyingly, I think that is the last trainer, but you can't keep going, which means you're gonna fight more guys, I think. I'm not too sure, I swear. I swear, that has been like 10 trainers. That's been a crazy number of trainers. Probably more than 10. Never before have I seen such a long gap of enemies without any, like, healing. Even in Pokemon Blue, if you had to do the trek from Lavender Town all the way to Fuchsia City, which you clearly go past Celadon at that point, like, you'd have to know, right? <laughs> that you're going past Celadon. Um, sorry, not Celadon, uh, Vermillion. But, yeah, like, you're going past Vermillion City, like, you can stop off there. And also, it's not like... You can't just keep walking on and dodging all these trainers. A lot of those trainers you don't really have to... ...have to take out, but yeah. So anyway, yeah, but... I played the PlayStation 1 version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and I can safely say... Like... I... It's weird saying, despite being a PlayStation 1 game, because... There's a lot of great PS1 games, and this is certainly one of them. And I know it's super late in the PS1 lifecycle, 
but oh boy, I, uh, so I'm done with it. I've, I've done, I've, I've done everything, even all the secrets and all the extra things. Like oh, when I was doing all the gaps, I didn't even realize you can go into the gym in school two in the second level. I didn't even know that you could trigger that. Like that's incredible. That there's just all these crazy secrets that kept being discovered as I was like 17 characters into the game. It's it was an incredible feeling. And I feel like you know, maybe, maybe a lot of newer games are afraid to hide things like that because that stuff is incredible. That's really cool. And you know, it doesn't matter how old this game is, discovering cool things like that, you know, that's such an earnest feeling. So worth it. Play the game, please. Uh, I also partially went back to the first game. I was not having the best of luck playing the first game. Um, I definitely feel like I'm a bit better after playing the second game, but I still... Mm, I'm not too sure if I'm feeling doing the first one too much. Um, enough to hit credits. We'll just say that. Um, there we go. Up there. Look at that. You don't have to go through the stuff. I like how if you're using the bike, you can't go through the... The super tall grass here. It's just interesting. So anyway, let us enter the Weather Institute. We've got a bunch of... Look at this kit. Oh my gosh, there was a... There was a bed here the whole time. There was a bed here the whole time. I knew it was eventually. I knew there was a bed eventually, but... Oh man, that's a, that was a trek, so... Oh, what's a kid doing here? Anyway, uh, since it's Team Aqua, it's version exclusive trainers yet again. Um, actually, I don't think it was exclusive on the on the mountain, but a version exclusive here. Um, so first off, we got a Carvana. It's level 28 against a female uh, Grunt in Ruby. This will be a Numal. Numal. That's a great trainer. Really good trainer. Uh, I think Sedimenta could take on the next one. Maybe. Maybe. The boss got interested in the research they have going on here, so he sent us out. You quit meddling. Uh, second grunt, the male grunt. Uh, same Pokemon on both. That's because the only real thing different is uh, your water type is Carvana or Numal. If it's fire, like that's it. That seems to be the trend. So, this guy, he's got a Zubat. Same on both ends. Nice, nice. Sure. So, uh, in the meantime, throughout just the weekend, really, I haven't played it too much, but I have started playing uh, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Also, Puccina, that's Pokemon number two. Um, Tears of the Kingdom is the, uh, the brand new, it came out May 12th, so three weeks ago, I think. Um, and I've mentioned it a couple of times on the stream, but now I'm playing it for the first time. Um, and I've tried to keep myself very secretive about how the game functions, so I didn't really know what exactly I was in for. I think I kind of knew what the, um, the abilities were going to be. I'm just going to send out. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is... Oh, that's not gonna hit because it's dark time. Ugh. And Swagger isn't really gonna be my cup of tea because even though... Because this is the thing with Swagger is that, um... Oh. He just upped my attack. I mean, I don't really have a... I don't really have a strat, but sure. Swagger's got a higher, like, um, accuracy, but it raises your opponent's, uh, attack, which makes it kind of interesting. This is... wow, okay. Rebox, he's got a tool for everything, apparently. Blasted by a kid. Uh, let's see if I can wing Sedimental being out in front again. Man, you know, it's a bit of a slow leveler there. Maybe it's the experience, yeah. Maybe that's the problem there. Uh... We got three trainers on the upstairs. I'm gonna see if I can take out two and then go for the last one. This is not a long dungeon, by the way. The Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with the weather. We're here to take them. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll try and keep the actual spoilers discussion of Tears of the Kingdom pretty low, but I will mention maybe things that happened in the first couple of hours at least. 
Um, or at least, at least until until you start doing your own thing uh, and going from there, and then I'll start just speaking uh, on the sentiment. Um, but the the game starts off with uh, a um, effectively a part where Zelda and Link are walking around in some ruins, and they accidentally come across a uh, dude who is probably some reincarnation of Ganondorf. It's painfully obvious, but sure. Um, yeah, I do wish I had another type move on Rebox, but that's okay, I got I got the Nonna. Uh Ganondorf comes alive and then basically uh corrupts Link's arm. His arm gets all goopy. Uh and uh Then Zelda disappears in a chasm into a bit of light and uh then Link wakes up, and he's on the float. Also, the, then all the land starts to, you know, crumble and shake, and a bunch of floating islands come out. Haven't really gotten that explained, but sure, okay, we'll accept that. Um, also, yeah, same same team on Ruby, it's just, you know, New Mall and stuff. No, it's, it's the same Pokemon, basically, for all of them. Uh... So yeah, so all, all these floating islands suddenly exist, although you weren't really outside to see it, but assuming that this takes place some... Eh, I guess it takes place some amount of years after the first... after the Breath of the Wild. Okay. Uh, point is, you wake up on this island, and uh, you've lost all your health again. So you find the Temple of Time, um, and... Uh, well, this Sedimentar is getting some kills on these Pucinas, but look how much health experience he got. Man, you know? A, it's a bit of a slow, isn't it? Is Mac is uh I could say Mac is Slugma a slow level? I forgot. That'd be kinda of painful if he is, because he holds it level 38. He's about the same speed though. So uh anyway, so you go to the Temple of Time, you find out that your arm has been sort of possessed by a guy who basically was the first king of Hyrule, uh, of a very weird species. I forgot what they are, but they're kind of goat things. Um, he then tells you to go to a bunch of shrines and regain some of the abilities, and these abilities are four brand new abilities, not related to the previous abilities of the last game. Um, and uh, you don't get the abilities from the last game, so it's a whole, it's a new set of tools for the puzzles. Um, but basically, to explain the abilities, uh, you have um, Ultra Hand, which is sort of like the Magnesis power from the first game, except instead of magnets, you can now pick up any, pretty much any object. If it, if it moves, you can grab it. Uh, it's not an enemy, at least. But uh, the fixes compared to using Magnesis is uh, Magnesis used to have this thing where you could basically flick the controller around, and you could basically smack objects into enemies all the time, and it was a very viable strategy to beating enemies, so... They've kind of slowed it down, there's a maximum move speed, and you can't smack it into enemies now. Um, and that makes sense, to be honest. Uh, because, uh, what they want- well, what they want you to do, and- and the whole realm of possibilities I've had that, you know, from this one item. Not only can you pick up items and move them around, you can glue them onto other items. Anything else that moves, you can basically glue it. There's a lot of snap-on points, uh, you can rotate the items as freely as you want, really. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can snap them on, uh, into, you know, to make whatever kinds of monstrosity, kind of complex objects you want. Uh, we got a boss battle coming up, by the way. Uh, so how about instead of Slugmer up front, let's... Um... I can't really use Rebox because I got two Dark types come up, so this is a bit painful. This is a little painful. But I think I've got three. Look, I can switch out to Riff Raff if I need to as well. He's still taking his time leveling up. He's getting there, but... Also, he's got Scratch Hard and Water Gun. I don't think he's quite got it. Uh, we'll see how well this goes. I don't think it'll be as bad as uh, fighting Archie earlier, because this is just you know, an admin more than anything else, but it's got the fella sausage. Ha ha ha! You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs! You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both! You're so cute, you're disgusting! I'll put you down, kitty! Oh my goodness. Listen, uh... 
Shelly's got the amazing hair, so I can't knock her too much. Um, you'd be fighting uh, Team Magma Courtney in uh, in Pokemon Ruby. The first Pokemon that comes out is uh, Carvana. No, Screech, Focus, Energy, Crunch, and Scary Face. Um, now we'll, we'll, we'll do one Sword Sans. That should be okay. Because these aren't really going to be too strong. Maybe I go for Maybe I go for two. Maybe I go for two. I've got the opportunity to do two. Sure. Uh, if you're finding the Numel on uh, the other side, uh, it's Tackle, Ember, Magnitude, and Focus Energy. Um, that's not really a problem lowering my speed, bro. Alright, let's get him. Wow, okay. Sure. Uh, and then uh, we got... The follow-up trainer. Nice. Oh, it's trying to like Metal Claw. Ooh. Do I have... Is Metal Claw one of the moves I'm teaching? No, but I, I will keep Metal Claw, because... I mean, it's a steel attack, and it raises your attack sometimes, which is great. It's a great move to have. Um, probably better than Water Gun, but... Uh, Mud Spore is probably the one I want uh, to get rid of, so... Let's have Metal Claw. And Steel Type is a nice kind of type to have. And then, uh, she's got Mighty Ina. Uh, same moves on both, so Bite, Odor Sleuth, Roar, and Swagger. Potentially the same moves that, uh, every, you know, Mighty Ina seems to have. How many hits do you think this will? Oh, this will need quite a few hits. You will take two attacks, at least. Done. Oh, no! Set up my HM Slave. Of course, of course. One of the easy experience. Um, yeah, let's just let's just go with Nonogram again. I've lost my health, uh, my buffs, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And that was it. Two Pokemon. Easy. Nice. Aha! We got metal with some unexpectedly. Oh, with unexpectedly. We're out of options. We'll have to pull out. But this isn't the last you'll see of Team Aqua. We have other plans. Don't you forget it. Whoosh. Thanks. Thanks to you. We're safe. It might be an odd way of thanking you, but take this Pokemon. Oh, you don't seem ever Wow. Bummer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the Ultra Hand is kind of cool. I, I do really like it um, because not having to like limit yourself to just metal things means suddenly now, like, I'm always thinking about it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put away Brushy for the moment. This one's gonna be a weird one. This is actually gonna be a super weird one. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, he's giving me a Pokemon and I'm like, oh gosh, now I gotta think of a name. Take this Pokemon and it just gives you Pokemon class form. That Pokemon changes shape according to the weather conditions. There are plenty of them. <laughs> there are plenty of them in the Institute. Go ahead and take it. It just gives you it. It's ridiculous to think that humans can change the weather. <laughs> yeah. What are you telling me? The, the, the water temperature isn't going up? The ocean temperature isn't going up? Because... I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here's cast form. He didn't even give it a name didn't even give it a name. It's yours, but I had no choice of a name on this one. Cast form is going to be the sixth Pokemon, which means congrats, here's my whole team. Um, so he comes with a Mystic Water, which is actually kind of cool. Um, the Mystic Water, I think, gives 20% more damage to Water-type attacks. Uh, but Cast form's ability is pretty neat. Uh, forecast changes with the weather, and what that means is that when it rains, he changes forms into a Water-type Pokemon. When it's sunny, he changes forms into a fire-type Pokemon. When it's uh, hailing, he changes forms into an ice-type Pokemon. When it's sandstorming, he stays the same because the game devs forgot that sandstorm was a weather condition. But, uh, you know, uh, you got the three. Now, he comes with a couple of neat attacks. He'll come with Rain Dance, Sunny Day, Hail, and Powder Snow. But, I think that the better strat is to commit to one of these. And, uh, that, I'm gonna stick with Rain Dance. Now, that being said, 
he's got some moves as you know as he goes along, but I think having having one singular strategy of what you go with is probably the key thing. Now, you may be thinking, okay, so you've got a cast form that's doubling as a water type. Uh, you got two bug types, and uh, you got two. Uh, what's the, what's the other type I have? Two ground types. Because I'm gonna have Slugma. Oh, two rock types. Yeah. Yeah, I got a weird, like, type-wise team. I'm not too sh I, I think I'm hoping I'm gonna get enough type coverage to kind of wing it out later. Um, because right now they're, you know, stuck in their type coverage. But, uh, I think Cast Form will be a kind of interesting one because I'll have a nice variety of attacks. Um, but yeah, it does mean that, you know, I'm gonna commit to the Rain Dance strat. Isn't it kind of weird that, like, Rain Dance has 5 PP by Halo 10? That's just kind of interesting. It's a very tough move, making it rain as well. So yeah. Coming with the Mystic Water is also kind of nice, except he doesn't have any water type attacks. So, interesting, but sure. Uh, now, I don't trust myself, and I know, I know I haven't really been grinding, but... I need to get Nonogram up one level. He's most of the way there. And then he will learn Slash and I don't have to use Fury Swipes ever again. Can, can I at least have that as a thing? Now, do not go across this bridge, whatever you do. No, you don't want to get caught out by a... by a lingering boss battle that may or may not be on the other side of that bridge. But... Yeah, so item number two, or power number two, and this one I thought is also super interesting. Um, I don't know what the name is, but it basically combines items. So, it works in um, maybe a couple of ways, and uh, they've kind of subtly snuck it into the menus a bit. But the main way it works is when you try to use the ability, it'll prompt you to combine uh, an item you're looking at with... Uh, your weapon or your shield and you can also use this to effectively combine items from your inventory with um, arrows but yeah as a bit of an interesting UX thing and maybe you know, some feedback game devs if you're hearing any of this uh, somehow I'm gonna run away this is uh, me getting nearly killed by one headbutt is uh, kind of oof um, but uh, yeah as a bit of a weird UX thing even though uh, regular items can be combined with weapons. You can't combine the items in your inventory with the weapons. You can only combine them with the arrows that you shoot. Um, it's kind of interesting. So you just gotta like drop something if you want to like slap it on a weapon. It's kind of kind of weird. Uh, those items can be other weapons, and this leads into this rather organic way of going about it. One common complaint I heard about Breath of the Wild, people hated how, oh, I'd have some weapons I like and some weapons are just utility, and now it's like, every weapon sucks until you combine it with things, then it becomes fairly alright. But it's your goal to now hunt out the kinds of things you want to combine your weapons with. So, uh, you know, you might have some swords or a claymore or, or a, a, a two-handed axe or something like that. You'll have a variety of, um, uh, or a pole, a, a, a stick, whatever. You'll have a variety of, like, basic kinds of weapons, and then you'll combine them with something to basically give it that uh, effective push. So whether this be something simple, like, uh, oh, you know, you stick a, uh, um, you know, like another weapon on the end, and then it's basically, it turns it into a longer weapon. You know, you could think of it like that, but you could also be like, hey, you know, and this is a common one you'll find, you'll combine a rock on your weapon, and the rock suddenly becomes, you know, turns into a, uh, like a hammer to mine materials. It breaks rocks really well. Um, you can stick, um, you know, like a fire chew jelly, and suddenly it will now set things on fire. Um, one thing that I did really early on, and I realized how incredible this is, is I, uh, I suck a stamella mushroom, the stamina increasing green mushroom, and what that did is that it was like a, a bouncy kind of ability, and it would knock enemies, like, once I hit them with the power attack of my combo, it would knock enemies far away, and I ended up knocking so many enemies off the flying islands that it was finishing fights way quicker than I was expecting, so 
And and I wasn't even expecting really how these effects work. Um, so it, it comes so nicely where it's just like you start experimenting with things. You just go, oh, this weapon doesn't have anything on it. Might as well put, uh, you know, this on it. And then suddenly you see that effect really manifest with, uh, you know, with what you're, you know, what you're trying to defeat. And on top of that, there's a bunch of enemies that will also try and do the same thing on you. They will take a, a weapon near them and combine it with some weird object close by, and uh, suddenly... I don't know why I'm not using Fury Cutter. I don't know why. Like, I know Fury Cutter's probably not going to do that much damage, but it's also Bug-type and uh, super effective. So... Oh. Well, it's not super effective. Okay. We're not there for a level yet. Nope. Nope, still not there. Done. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty cool power. Um, just because, yeah, like, now every weapon I have is kind of a fun utility with the things that are around me. Um, and the things that I find and the things that I discover. Um, so it's really neat. It's not just like, oh, I found this weapon. You know, it's more just like, I found this weapon, this weapon sucks, but, you know, check out what I could stick on it. That kind of stuff. And that's what makes that mechanic really cool. The other two powers, uh, sure, okay. You get, uh, one called Ascend. This one I'm not really too fond of. Uh, basically, uh, you use the ability to, like, on the ceiling. And you'll just fly up into the ceiling, and then swim through it up into the whatever is above it. Um... You can't use it when you're too far away from the ceiling, and you can't use it when the ceiling's kind of rocky, or the, you know, the, the ground above is too rocky. But it generally works in a lot of caves where you can just kind of use it to swim your way back out of the, you know, the end of the cave. Um, that seems to come up quite a lot. It's happened a lot. Um, it also really helps with some of the ascending parts of the game. They just want you to go up, and that's how they want you to go up, but... I definitely found more often than not, it's a very telegraph way of going up, or uh, it kind of just puts you in a space where you didn't really want to go. Um, the effect also isn't as impressive looking as maybe it should. There's a lot of times the camera will just clip into the, the floor, and um, it will just do this kind of... Like, Nintendo knows that you know the camera's going to clip into things, but they, they do their just typical zero space kind of rendering where it's got this weird funky background, but like... There's nothing going on. I can't tell where Link is relative to anything while he's swimming in a wall. Uh, he's just kind of swimming for a bit and then eventually pops out the top of whatever he was in, so... Uh, the puzzles with it generally range from painfully obvious to holy crap, I can't see that it's there, so... Look at that, he finally lets Slash, thank goodness, let's get rid of Fury Swipes. I am not enjoying Fury Swipes. So, Slash is finally... Uh, one of, uh, well, I guess, I guess he already knows three of his moves. Because <laughs> I kind of wanted to keep double team for the moment. But Slash is kind of the de facto attack that I'm going to keep on him because, oh boy, oh boy, I need that. So, let's see how well he does now. Let's see how well he does. So, right after you fight Team Aqua here, um, or Team Magma, depending on who you are, uh, you're just prompted with, uh... Well, let me just, let me just show you what, what you're prompted with. The moment you can try and go across this bridge... Oh, and go up the stairs. Oh, hello there. Oh, Bino, so this is where you've been looking for Pokemon. Let me see how good you got. I'll test you. No! It's a battle, so battle. Oh my gosh. And he just prompts you straight into a battle. Um, so yeah, sure. Uh, I don't think his Pokemon have evolved since last time, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, that means that, depending on, uh, I guess, you know, he's got another Grass, Water, and Fire-type Pokemon. Uh, the Fire-type Pokemon, uh, if you chose Trico, would be Combusken. Um, but I'll speak about Combusken later. Uh... Okay, we're good, we're good. Because here's the thing, now I'm faster, and I've slapped a Sword Sands on, Slash is a killer attack. Slash is a killer attack. I this is this is the dream now. This is the nonogram dream. So Numa would know Ember, Magnitude, Focus Energy, and Takedown. He couldn't use Magnitude back then, so that's okay. Um, he's got Wailma if you didn't choose Torchic. 
The Whalmer has Rollout, watch out, Astonish, Water Pulse, and Whirlpool. Um, level 29, so not too bad. Uh, I'm constantly building up speed, but he is going to be a bit tanky. Oh! Slash with the crit, because Slash is a high crit move. Nice, nice. Um, if, uh, so I chose uh, Mudkip, so he's not going to have his Grass type. Uh, which would be Shroomish. It would know Headbutt, Poison Powder, Leaf Seed, and Mega Drain. It's pretty much unchanged as before, but sure. Uh, and he's now going to send out Grovial here. The Sardis still hasn't evolved yet, but I think this would be the last time. So uh, it knows Leaf Blade, Screech, Fury Cutter, and Pursuit. And it dies to me using Slash. This is the power of Slash, because Slash is like four times more powerful than one singular Fury Swap. And it hits, and it can crit. So, okay, sure. I was waiting for this opportunity, so. Uh, if you chose Torchic, he'd have Marsh Tomp, but it knows Mud Shot, Mud Sport, Foresight, and Takedown. That's right, no water type attacks on that water type Pokemon. Uh, and if you uh, chose Trico, the Combusker would know Double Kick, Bulk Up, Sand Attack, and Peck. That's right, no fire type moves on that fire type Pokemon. You know what? I'm, I'm the one who's having to watch out because he knows Leaf Play, which actually would ruin you. Um, and he just flat out gives you Fly because you're going to need Fly. Uh, so, but you can't use Fly yet, you need to get to the next gym. It's very, very far away. Not a secret base here. To lurk in shadows and live in darkness, that is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. <laughs> we still got two trainers, though. Listen, does his ninja ask have Slash? I didn't think so. Oh, because it's a sword sense. Okay. Cool. So sand isn't really, you know, for me, but I see what what it's for. Um, there's some people I've seen who have complained that you use the ability to basically cheat your way into climbing areas, but I've not found too many places where you can actually be underneath it to use a sand. It seems picky enough that I've not really seen anywhere that you can cheese. But that being said, the climbing in the game is already cheesy enough. Oh my gosh, those are some very phallic looking berries. Um, yeah. Uh, ability number four, this one's not as bad. Um, it's basically a rewind functionality. You can um, so you press it, and for some reason, you then kind of select the part on the screen. You don't actually aim it. Um, and uh, you just select an object, same objects that can be moved with the, uh, the Ultra Hand, and uh, you then, you know, it will then just go backwards in time. So if you moved it, or it moved naturally, it'll just go backwards, and it'll push things out of the way, or detach off objects that can't, you know, that are attached to it, that can't move anymore. Um, it generally works fine, I think I've had one moment that it actually kind of, you know, glitched out in some way. Uh, but generally, it, it works alright. Um, yeah. But it's not... It, I don't feel like it comes up as often as you'd want. There's definitely some fun things, like uh, you'll notice like rocks falling from the sky, which are attached to, like, or were attached to platforms, so you could jump on them, reverse the time on it, and it'll just shoot up into the sky and probably lead you to an island. There's that. There's definitely fun times when you can use it, but I've never felt it, like, really comes up during combat or other kind of gameplay that much. I feel like the main two, combining objects and moving objects, that seems to be my de facto thing of what I'm doing in this game. And oh boy, those two abilities really do change how I play the game. It's it's now this kind of, you know, degree of figuring out these fun combinations of items and toying around with how they work against uh, your opponents. Oh look, a city! <laughs> so Four Tree City! Four Tree, otherwise known as the Six Gym City, I guess? But yeah, this city's pretty cool. Because I got a few things going on, so I'll talk to some people. Have you done anything at the record corner? It's pretty neat. It mixes and matches the records of trainers. I don't quite know how it works, but it's cool. It's exciting, even. Oh, okay. Listen, kid, are you working on a Pokédex? Hmm. Go to the Safari Zone. That's my suggestion. Uh. Hey, you got a Pokédex the same as mine. Check out the trainer's eyes on it. It shows you trainers who want to rematch with it. Isn't it great? You have to hand it to Devin. <laughs> Is the Pokemon? I don't think the Poke. Have I kept saying the the versus Seeker is in this game? It probably. 
I'm probably misremembering it. I tell ya. I think that the way this mechanic works, maybe, off the top of my head, it's been way too long, is that eventually just trainers will have the little flashing icon there, and then you can just go to them and battle them again. I think the Versus Seeker appeared in Fire Red and Leaf Green, and that's why I got confused that I thought it was in this game. Did they backport into Emerald? Is that also what I'm thinking? Living on top of trees is okay, but sometimes bug Pokemon coming through the windows can be real silent. Oh my gosh. Got some glass. Okay, so not only do we have someone who's like, mankind doesn't create, like, problems with the weather and now we've got all the people who live in trees. I got these cool bridges though. It's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, this is actually a shop that sells, uh, items for your secret base. It's pretty cool. You got one full of tables and one full of chairs, I think. There we go. I mean, you guys are gonna know them by description, but... <laughs> I wish I could deliver me home like that. Okay. I'm buying a pretty dance and putting my cute dolls on it. If I know, when I decorate my secret base, dolls will get dirty or pumped with splinter. I might as well buy a table. Let's just do it. What are we buying? Let's buy the comfort desk. And now we're gonna put a chair next to it. We gotta get the matching comfort chair. Ground absorbs rainwater and trees grow by drinking that water. Our four tree city exists because there's both water and soil. Uh, there's, there's water, yeah. I'm gonna go to Pokemon Gym and suddenly book it away. For all the bother, I went through training on Route 120. Hi there. <laughs> you smell singed. Were you at a volcano or something? Oh. <laughs> wow. There, go. Bird Pokemon. Oh my gosh. I asked my Wingull to run an errand for me. <laughs> sure, yeah. By being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends, and that brings the world closer together. I think it's wonderful. Is that Wingo just like back already by the time I get back? I don't know. I don't know. He's gone for a bit. He's gone for a bit. Sure. Uh, so yeah, if you try going to the gym, uh, something unseeable is in the way. And that prevents you from going to the gym just now. What's that thing you got there? Oh, it's called a Pokedex? It's really awesome. Oh, I've just come to the nerd house. Stronger than the gym leader. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Sure. Hi there. People, Pokemon, their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Let these old women see if your hidden power is awoken. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right hand or in the left? In the right hand. Oh, yes, correct. We shall try again. Which hand have I palmed the coin? You haven't moved it. Oh, yes. We shall try once more. Uh, you still haven't moved it. No. Oh, fine. In the right hand. It's in the right hand. And now it's in the left hand. Your game sucks, lady. Here, take this. It's a TM10, aka Hidden Power, aka the move that breaks uh, competitive. So you teach it to a Pokemon, and that Pokemon's uh, underlying stats that you can't see just so happens to have decided that it's a attack with a certain power and a certain type. Actually, I'm not too sure if the power is affected. Maybe it's just the type. But the point is, is that uh, that could be any type. And being able to effectively train a Pokemon at any type, or with any type move, that's pretty powerful. Uh, I'm not too sure if I've reliably got a, you know, a move. I think I've got some dead zone like moves I could maybe teach it to, but I don't think I'd really want to try it, so... And yeah, there was a girl who uh, wants uh, Pikachu and she'll give a Skitty. Um, we haven't been able to catch Pikachu just yet, but she'll be able to very soon. Uh, and we can't do the gym, which means onwards and upwards. Okay, sure, I guess. So, there's not too much that you have to do before you can get to the gym, so I'll be able to get to the gym pretty soon. But Clarissa knows it all. She'll explain it to me as well. I realize I'm just like sweeping with Nonogram now when really I should be bringing the rest of my team up to stuff. Cause like, I don't, I don't know man, Nonogram is set. Once you, once you got a good move, you are pretty set. 
And I've been winging some kind of rough moves on some of my Pokemon. Alright, Whalmer, let's switch over to... Yeah, sure, let's let's give Castform a go. Let's give him a spotlight. There's Castform. He could get wrecked. He could very easily get wrecked, but let's cast the hail. That causes him to change forms. He's now Ice Type. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna make him Ice Type for. Well, he's only Ice Type for the battle. Now, my kind of. You know. Horrendous feeling is that Cast Form is not gonna be particularly. Uh, defensive enough to set up. Oh, I didn't really think this through, did I? Oh, I'm frozen. And then he unfroze in the same turn. <laughs> well, cast form, you're basically almost dead. Now, I think you gotta get him up to level 30 before he really starts getting somewhere, but. Uh, let's just go to Reflux. Not sure. Okay. Oh, not the rollout. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, like, it's been, you know, it takes a bit in the tutorial, and then you land on the ground, and then you're basically free to roam wherever, but you're guided very heavily to, um, uh, to go to Hyrule Castle very early on. And you'll find a bunch of people, they'll give you some early kinds of abilities and some things to, to note. Um, you'll start taking photos of things, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, you get introduced to the towers. The towers are not the same as the towers from the first game, and instead, instead of just being some, like, climbing puzzle, um, every tower's kind of had something going on. Some of them have been as simple as, oh, they've still just got spikes at the beginning. Uh, but some of them have been like, hey, you know, this tower doesn't open. Like, what gives? Oh boy, now I've got to do a double battle. I've got to do double battle. Uh... Let me see if Sedimentar and, uh... Rebox. Let's see if Sedimentar and Rebox have what it takes. Hey, look at here. I remember y'all get this battle on the This is camera. Yeehaw! That's what he says, I guess. So, uh, Gabby and Ty, same Pokemon, except I think that Magnemite has evolved. No, actually, I'm pretty sure it was a Magne uh, Magneton last time. Sonic Boom! The Sonic Boom doesn't mean too much now. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, I've also gone on and done one of the dungeons. I'm not too sure how many dungeons there are going to be in the game, but... Uh, there's definitely a, um, like, I naturally found the dungeon, and then I unfortunately found out after getting to the dungeon, and this, this really irks me, the fact that there was a long trek to get to, like, to the dungeon, this would have been the Sky One in the Northwest, um, near the, the Rito village, um, but this really annoyed me, the fact that the whole trek to the, um, to the dungeon was possible with like, the basic stamina bar that you have, no upgrades, and you can fight all the enemies on the way, it was pretty normal. Then you get to the dungeon, and then you go, huh, what are these things I'm doing here? Oh, like, I'm, I'm encountering here, like, these weird little machines, I just can't interact with them. And what are these, um... Oh, no, don't kill Rebox right at the end, no! He had this, man, he had this. Well, Castworm's gonna have this as well, I guess. Um... Yeah, what are these weird little machines that I see? I see, like, there's a fan in them, but, like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, and, uh, then there's also, yeah, there was, like, a little switch at the top, like, a little, like, special magical switch, and it just kept going brum, brum, when you tried to use it. Don't know what was going on there. Turns out, like, I, I, I leave, I come back a bit later, turns out I had to go to Rito Village and basically do a bunch of story such that a character follows me up there. Uh, no interview. I don't want it. Never talk to journalists. Don't do it. Um, yeah, it turns out that I had to have a character following me. 
Then this ended up in this kind of weird scenario because I could fast travel like most of the way up the um the back to the dungeon. But then he just popped up, said, Oh, like I'm the was going this way instead, sorry. And then he just leaves and disappeared for a while. And apparently he was earlier than where I spawned on the trek to the the um to the dungeon. In fact, actually, it was like there were two shrines which serve as checkpoints on the way to the dungeon. Um, just in the air. Just as you're going, along the air. And he was at the first one after I teleported to the second one. He briefly showed up, then disappeared, and then I couldn't continue anything until I figured out exactly where he was, which I had to look up on the internet. Nice. Um, once I got to the dungeon with him, after a while, uh, he proceeded to go, Oh, I know what this switch is, and activated a teleport up at the dungeon itself, and then proceeded to also tell me that the machines I didn't know how to operate, he'd just blow wind into them. And that kind of irked me. That really irked me, that, like, I was able to get that far to go to the dungeon, but then, um... You know, I was unable to really do anything, and the game didn't really explain what was going on. And then it's just like, okay, now you basically gotta do it again. It's like, just, just... The worst part is that having this guy near you gives you the ability to, like, you know, propel yourself forward when you're gliding. And you could have easily just had a bit of the platforming that required me to propel myself forward a bit. Like, you could have made it rather difficult to do a jump normally or a puzzle that really required this guy. Because the best part, you know, you keep his abilities after you've done this dungeon. So, you know, once I'm at that point where I can do his thing, why doesn't it just, you know, <laughs> make it painfully obvious right at the beginning that I needed that? Oh well. So once I hit the bridge, oh, hi there. Ooh, Bino, hi, I forgot what voice I gave him. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? If I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle, no, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That'd be more fun. Bino, are you fucking ready for that? No! I wait here so you can get ready. Now, I love the shadow on the bridge, by the way. That's pretty cool. But uh, this is also a rather cheeky Pokemon. I'm not going to put him on my team, but this is a very cheeky Pokemon to deal with. He uses the Devon Scope. This causes this Pokemon to appear. This is Kecleon. Kecleon. As a level 30 tick Kecleon, and uh, you can only fight... Uh, I believe there's actually six that exist in the whole game. Uh, so if you fail catching this one, you got a couple of attempts at it, and I believe you can breed them, so don't feel like, you know, if you miss one, you're screwed. Uh, but Kecleon's fun ability, and we've already seen a Kecleon, but his fun ability is that he changes type to whatever type you hit him with. That makes almost every type, uh, you know, not very effective on the second go. Um, it makes some types kind of annoying when you hit him with them. Uh, it also means he might get the stab after a while. And he might just kill me anyways. Oh, I got burned. How do you get burned? Uh, but yeah, so that uh, dungeon kind of annoyed me, but then the actual dungeon itself was uh, pretty okay. It was pretty alright. I, I did like it. Um, actually, it was a bit quick and the boss was real quick. I don't know. I, uh, like, I've seen better dungeons in Zelda in general. Uh, but that being said, the, the classic, you know, Breath of the Wild approach of just go anywhere, figure out what you're doing. I'd say it works pretty well, although maybe there's a... You know, there's more people than I was expecting. Like, there's more people to talk to. It's a lot less empty of a game. Uh, and I'm not too sure whether that's uh, for good or for worse. Um, but there's definitely a lot more, like, ground to cover. There's a lot more places um, that, like, I realized it's like, oh, I'd have to go to some islands in the sky, and then there's this whole underground bit. Um, Let's call him... Keckles. Even though I'm not using him, but it'll be fun. So. I see, your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously... <laughs> a 
obliviously, that's all. Uh, obviously grown since I first met you in Dewford. I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon. Biendo, I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers. You strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. Whoosh! And he flexes on you by having a move that you can't use right now. But that's okay, because now we've got the Devon Scope, which means we can actually just go back to the gym. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing, because I don't think there's anything really, like, too walking. The only thing I can think of... Um... There's a lot of Kekman, I guess. Actually, hold on, I take it back. Kecleon's got a 1% chance of showing up. There are six preset Kecleons throughout the game. Actually, there might be six just in this route. But yeah, the fact that there's a 1% chance and the fact that I just got him with a 1% chance, oh my god. You don't even need the Devon Scope, I think, to do the 1% chance. He just does it. He just shows up. You know, why not? Um, also, uh, Pokemon chat, because someone's going to ask me, where, where can you get the Pokemon? The answer is, no Pokeballs anymore, they're all gone. But you can get Super Repels, and Revives. Should I be buying Revives? Maybe I should. I should get a bunch by the end of the game. Someone will judge my spending, you know, <laughs> mindset at the end, but for now, I'm doing okay. Hola, Mr. Crip. Happy, uh, Cinco de Juno. Is that, is that, is that the date? So, uh, yeah. Uh, overall, Tears of the Kingdom, I am definitely enjoying it. I'm not feeling the fatigue that maybe others have. Um, uh, the 5th of, 5th of June. 5th of June, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Chinko the Juno. This is a, that's not a, a, a fightable Kecleon, it just kind of disappears. Um, so I guess here's a question now. What do I go in to this gym doing? I would really like Sedimenta to like be able to just use like Rock Throw and just win. You know? Because oh, how much power does Rock Throw have? It should be 50, yeah. But his physical attack is still trash. 28 compared to like... 24 on the Pokemon I don't physically attack with. Uh, 77 and 71 on the Pokemon I should be attacking with. Cast form, like, look at that, like, 43. Actually, this is, what is his nature? Impish. I don't know which one that one is. He seems to be okay, although, mm, lower special attack has me a little bit skirty. It's probably high defense, lower special attack, because he's pretty evenly statted. Eh, yeah, I'll be okay. Funny number health, though. Uh, I think I've got some backups, but we'll, we'll rock Sedimenta for the start. And then if he's really sucking, I'll just switch over, so. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound BNO? For Tree Gym Leader, Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of this gym, behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challenges. We're trying to take wing. Okay, go for it. Here is a gym challenge. I think they made it a fair bit trickier in, uh, uh Emerald, but in this game, it's pretty alright. You gotta, you gotta walk into the bits and it rotates around the pole, and you gotta make sure that the, you know, they can actually rotate around the pole. Here's Pro Jared with his Jojuo. Oh, he's got Trivial Pursuit. Well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Oh, good old try attack Is this gonna wreck me? Should do a lot of damage. Yeah. Maybe Sentimentar. I think Sedimenta might have to be the one who gets the experience share. I gave it to Riff Raff because he was a bit behind, but... Now it's like, oh boy. Nobody Pokemon games, wild encounters, birds. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I think Riff Raff is probably just going to be the... You know, actually good enough. I, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go with Riff Raff, I guess. We'll swap our experience share. So take that off him. Switch over. Also, I have cast form. He's uh, team member number six. Uh, where down below? Experience share. And we'll switch.
swap the quick claw. Who's gonna be the slow boy who probably wants the quick claw? Speed 46, 49, 50, 103, 44. Probably Spoink is the slowest one, I guess. I guess. It's not really. It's not too slow. I think Sedimento is just notoriously gonna be the slowest one. Like, that speed is dreadful. And that's, you know. That's by design, although he should evolve sort of soon, so... Uh, I don't think any of these traits you can avoid at all. I think they're all in the way. Every single one of them. Are they too low? They're pretty, like, on point, I feel. I don't, I don't feel like I'm caught out too much, but the thing that's catching me out is combined with not having amazing moves. I feel like I've got not great stuff on Riff Raff, uh, really dreadful stuff on Sedimenta, and a cast form, I just got him and he doesn't have the sets, the things that I want him to have. But on the flip side, I've felt pretty confident about using like Psybeam on, um, on a, a Spoink. Um, Marsh Tomp is doing pretty all right with both strength and um, Strength and Surf, and uh, I've now got Slash on um, on the Ninja, so he should be doing all right. Getting slept by by the Swablu is not at all ideal, but you know what? It's not like they can do anything about that either. It's really, really annoying though, so... Uh, but yeah, I'll tell you more about uh, Tears of the Kingdom as I play more of it. Um, oh boy. Uh, but for the moment, yeah, no, I, I'm definitely having a good time. Did I get sand attacks once? Or is that just what Mist is doing? That could just be what Mist is doing. Wow. Interesting. Oh. I'm... I've got a strong passion against sleep, I tell ya. Which is why I stream at night. <laughs> Altaria. Yeah, Altaria could probably wreck me. The keyword is... good. I don't think it will. I've got, I've got the plan. That's right. <laughs> The one Pokemon with a move super effective against, uh, against Altaria. He's currently got an experience share and is currently not taking any experience because he's dead. Maybe I should go back. Heal up. I love the sound these things make. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I, w I would also like to add, I'm gonna jinx it right now. I'm 68 minutes into streaming and uh, I have not had my internet die once. Don't know what was happening last week. No reports. Imagine if that Pokemon get fainted before Altaria. I mean, for reference, the one with a super effective move is uh, Slugma. It's dead before I even send it out, to be honest. But I think I've got, I think I've got a plan. The Skarmory might be the interesting one. The Skarmory might be the... Like, I don't think the Skarmory's got any, like, particularly strong attacks, but... That one is gonna throw me off. Uh... This is gonna be an interesting fight, though. I think you gotta do... Oh, wait. Down here. There you go. Neat puzzle. I thought of everything. Benzai Bomber Pokemon Edition. Oh, if I did that one. There's no need for Winona, not Gym Leader, to deal with you. I'm plenty good. <laughs> put a put a participle in a sentence. Whoa. Whoa. Camp a Terrell. This is terrifying. Go, Riff Raff. Use your regular roll attacks. <laughs> they really got a lot of normal type attacks, don't they? Can't do most of them as well, isn't it? Uh, so here's topic number two, and I would like to um, use this as a bit of an opportunity to um, 
like, I don't know, this, this maybe sound this is going to sound a bit lectury, but legit, uh, I witnessed a friend get hacked on Steam in real time. Uh, I'm not going to name my friend, uh, and I do I do like him. I helped him out. You know, I want him to, to you know, to not get hacked. So, I'm helping him out here. But I should also know that I think his example is probably a very, you know, clear example of something that can happen and one where, you know, uh, it helped him out in real time and he didn't really lose anything. A villain arc? Oh yeah, if it's a villain arc. <laughs> was it the Kit Boga? Like, kind of reasoning. It's like, I got scammed so hard or, or like my relatives got scammed and I decided to take it upon myself to... You know, right the wrongs. Uh, let's get Rebox a bit of, bit of love. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the, the member of the Four Tree Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. Yeah, this gym is gonna be a bit of a tricky one for me. It could wreck me, it could not. If it really wrecks me, I've got a backup strat, which is, well, we just get Marsh Dump evolved. We just, we, just, we just let Marsh Dump evolve. I don't feel too bad about Rebox being this level. But the bits that I'm worried about is that, like, I'm just gonna get swept by one particular attack that every one of those Pokemon knows. <laughs> So, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a weird one. Gosh, they really like using Endeavor, don't they? So, so my mate, he got hacked on Steam. And I think the uh, the means of, of doing this is that he sold, he tried, or rather, he got scammed out of selling a CSGO knife uh, via some website. Um, I'm not too sure the details. I don't know which CSGO selling site. Uh, but I definitely know that there's plenty of them that are just not legit. And to be honest, a lot of people who run these sites do it to make money. And to basically sell things for profits. And, yeah, you don't really gain anything. You know, you, know, you don't net gain anything, rather. They gotta make the money somehow. And apparently they're just gonna double dip and do both donations and stealing your stuff. And then they use some of the money to pay off, you know, big influences and large amounts of bot accounts to effectively pretend like stuff is actually happening on their site. One grandfather from Russia IRL, sorry. Uh, I got scammed on 500,000 rubles. After that, I became a scammer and scammed 2 million rubles. Uh, out of principle, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of you becoming a scammer, but out of uh, personal, I guess, I don't think you... If the people you scammed were perfectly, you know, you know, scamming people, I guess, you know, that game, but... When you form a square and you get yourself stuck, because you didn't move the, the things right. But I am also going to heal the right way. Look at that, an actual gym puzzle. They did it, Nintendo. Game Freak. I like how the people who say, you know, Nintendo it's like, I don't know how much money Nintendo are the ones putting in this game. I guess they had a bit. They have a bit of input. I never really know, like, how much input the publisher or even, like, a, a holding company really has on a certain product. But I'd imagine Nintendo really does, you know, they really do put a bunch of eggs in the, the Pokemon basket. A bunch of fingers in the Pokemon pie, if you will. Okay, so now i got to think in my head how I do this strategy, first of all. I've got Rebox, but I feel like I want to save Rebox for later. Um, I really want Nonogram to do stuff, but Nonogram is probably going to get swept. Because everything is flying type, everything knows Aerial Ace, and he's going to get killed in one hit. But he is faster than him. That gives him the ability to attack once. Does it give him the ability to, to use Swords Dance once? Because that's all I really need. I just need one Swords Dance. I 
I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Because if you can't, if, if I can't bring him in there, I don't think he's gonna really be able to do much anyways. So. But, yeah, I don't know. I am kind of fighting uphill into this gym battle. I'll tell you that. I'll definitely say that. I think the typical player probably goes back and, uh, fights the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I said I wanted a wacky team. I haven't got the moves, really, for a lot of them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're all in the 20s, so... This is, uh, this is golden. This is a beautiful team. What are you talking about? Don't diss my beautiful team. Good old gym that takes like a whole minute to walk from one side to the other. Everyone likes a good gym like this. Uh, so anyway, so... He probably lost a session token to a logged in, to his logged in Steam account. Um, via the CSGO trading site. Uh, I'll read out what the gym leader says. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have hopes on this one. I don't have hopes. I am Winona. I am the leader of the four tree Pokemon gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However, grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. They have really ridden bird Pokemon more than flying in this game. Do I know what I'm doing? No, but... Okay, so, uh, I'm just gonna do the Swords Dance test, we'll see how well Swords Dance actually stacks up. Oh, okay, 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 I was expecting to just get hit with the arrow lays and call it a day, but... Listen, I might be able to wing. I might be able to wing this. Because one double team is not enough to stop me. My luck ain't that bad. Okay, so, anyway, that's well on those quick attack, aerial ace, double team, and endeavor. The aerial ace is probably the most scary part, but if you're not weak to flying, it's okay. Uh, we got a Pelipper. It's only level 30 this time. It knows Water Gun, Supersonic, Protect, and Aerial Ace. Same deal, except it's probably going to spam Protect. This probably would have been the turn I would have used double team. But, I don't know, he could have also just used aerial ace. You can't win with the AI. You're either damned if you do, damned if you don't. Uh, Pelipper's probably going to take... Oh, the Supersonic might be... might catch me out a little bit. Help has got a bit of health. I should really be spamming double team during these, like, off turns, shouldn't I? Yeah, me getting hit with, uh... Yeah, that's a lot of damage to take. Okay, that's two protects, man. You're cheating. You're cheating. You can't do that. Okay. Does Protect, like, not have... I'm pretty sure Protect has a lower chance on a second, you know, like, usage back-to-back. -back. Dang it. Am I gonna get Aerial Aced? Okay. Imagine how Pelipper used Super Sonic Move. Imagine him scream. That's what it sounds like. Okay, well, there goes Nonogram, which, uh... Has me a little bit concerned. I don't think I'm 100% screwed, but we'll keep it going, we'll keep it going. We got Rebox. Let's get him with the, uh... We'll go with the side beam. I don't think I need to use Confuse Ray right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You tried. Ooh, maybe I should have used the Confuse Ray. Seems I'm faster than this one. Okay. I'm not faster than them. So Aerial Ace is a bit of a... Uh, it's, not, it's not the meanest attack in the world. It's just a flying type attack. That's kind of the bit that I'm most afraid of. Uh, it's got 60 power, but it always hits. Um, so middle of the road attack always hits. That's, that's the danger of it. The fact that you can't really double team around it. That was my problem. So, uh, double team isn't going to help me in that case. Might as well just, you know, go on with the attacks. A lot of health, doesn't he? Okay, so we only got one potion. Sure. 
Okay, cool. That's two down. I'm only down two Pokemon, or one Pokemon. And Sedimentar is gaining some experience, so that's alright. Okay, third Pokemon. We've got four Pokemon this time around. Third Pokemon is Skarmory, level 32. Uh, Sealwing might do a bit of damage. Okay, okay. Confuse Ray will buy me a turn. Okay. Uh, Sand Attack, Fury Attack, Steel Wing, and Aerial Ace. So, Steel Wing might be a little bit of a... A little bit of an iffy move, but... Not too rough. Not too rough. I've still got my old Sody Pops. Not too sure if I'll... I might as well just go in for it. Okay, okay. Bought a turn. Man, I've really got... I've, I've, I've got no strat on this. Uh... Jeez, German World War II bomber run? Oh, yeah, I guess. Alright, let's switch to Sedimentar. What could possibly go wrong from switching to Sedimentar? Mid-fight. A lot. Okay. Because, uh, Skarmory is Steel-type. Man, you got confused for five turns! Jeez! Go, oh, Sedimenta, do something in a boss fight! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you realize. You realize that's all he's got. Sand attack. Oh, she. You know, classic all the female trainers Pokemon are female. I wish I aerialized burned. Now I'm at this point where it's like, ah. Oh. I just need one of these to burn and then I'll be a bit happier. But nah. No, he's gone. Oh, okay. We got, we got one in the end. We got one. Okay. Uh. Now what? Throw sand into lava. Exactly, exactly. That's what you do. Um. I'm gonna go with. We'll go with, with Kipperoni. We'll go in with it. So, Kipperoni is gonna at least wing the fact that he's higher level. Uh, the fact that they're burned also should help the survivability, but that's only for one Pokemon. We'll see, we'll see how we go. It's the Altaria, that's the... I was a bit concerned about the Skarmory. I feel like the Skarmory was kind of... Bit of a wrench. The rebox is level 30, I guess, so. Okay, now we got Altaria. What is the strat? What what is the intention? Because I've got nothing that Cast One can really do. Plan B? Uh plan B is uh we bring Nonogram back and we start winging um Slash, basically. <laughs> I mean I'm probably gonna get aerialized in one hit, but you know what? A slash from Nonogram just out of the blue is probably gonna do a bit of damage. Yeah, I could confuse right, yeah. Um, so... Is Dragon special in this game? I think it is still, isn't it? I'm very certain it is. Oh, let me, let me pull that up. Uh... It is special, isn't it? Yeah, it's special. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna be fun, because Grouse not gonna do anything. Strength is my, uh, my option here. Ooh, okay, so the Altaria Earthquake's a bit of a mean move. It's not the worst, but it is gonna do a bit of damage. It's already burnt both uh, the, um, the Hyper Potions, so I might be able to cheese this a bit. Um, Aerial Ace yet again, bit of damage, bit of damage. Dragon Dance. Might be a bit of a, you know, a worrying move, because it increases attack and speed. Um, but it's already kind of faster than me. So, okay. Just gonna destroy Turkey, oh my gosh. Um, and last move would be Dragon Breath, which would actually really destroy me. Ah, uh, that's too... Rebox has the quick... No, Rebox has the... Yeah, Rebox has the quick lore. 
Who wants to play Quick Claw Roll the Dice? That was, that was not very fun, Quick Claw Roll the Dice. Okay. Uh, cast form, you're gonna be the bait. Go for it, cast form. You got this. Good thing I finally brought revives, just so I could spam them in a boss fight. Let's get Nonogram back out. Yeah, he's gonna die in one hit, but... Here's a question. Is double speed up Alteria faster than Nonogram? You survived that. What exactly did I go with? Hail? <laughs> Just gonna get wrecked with Dragon Breath. You survived that God's Sword. Double attack increase? Okay, sure. Okay, so if I'm slower than this, uh, whoops. I'm slower. The plan does not work when you are slower. And Riff Raff is gonna get killed with an earthquake. So, uh... Do I, do I wing one more revive on... Like, I, I, I can't cheese Nonogram being faster. I guess. I guess. Yeah. I could have, yeah. But the fun is, like, not having a strat. That's the fun part, is winging it. Yeah. Oh, so close, so close, so close. I feel like I, I could I could take a second stab at this, but... Now that I know the tools of the trade. Now I know the tools. Oh yeah, that Altaria, ugh. I was not expecting Dragon S actually, like... Be the reason why I couldn't do anything after a while. So, no blood armor. I don't have blood. No, 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 no blood armor this time. It's it's not bad luck on on my end. That was actually just not particularly amazing strategy. Now, nope. Oh, now that's a luck move though. That's a luck move. Uh. So I'm trying to think, is it worth having a second sword stance? If I don't, if I get aerial aced before the swallow gets hit, you know, that's a restart. Like, <laughs> I don't want to be that unlucky to, to start off against a swallow, given that... Okay, okay, we're good. That did a lot more damage last time, didn't it? Is it because of the double team that my luck just means, oh, no damage this time? getting indebted. Cool. Steam is still deporting people trying to buy games from other regions. Oof. Ah, uh, could have been a better time for a crit. I don't think there's any better time to really get get a invest going. I was thinking, he ain't gonna protect, is he? He's just gonna go in for the kill. Dang it, Steam, why are you deport? Uh... The guys who laugh also got deported now. And that's why you don't gloat. That's why you don't, you know... You don't gleefully, you know, relax when your enemies are baking bread. So, I don't know, is that the phrase? <laughs> Let's get that Pelabug. So yeah, on the second attack, I would like to explain the uh, the case of my friend getting hacked on Steam. Uh, so pretty much, someone got into his got a session token, and that basically meant stuff the two factor, stuff his password. They just could get into his account, basically. Now they didn't have any access to his uh, his email, so uh, don't make a grave or something. Ah, that's the same, yeah. Um, they didn't have any access to his email, and they also didn't have any access to his phone for, uh, the Steam Guard 2, uh, 2 Factor. But I will say one thing I absolutely hate about Steam. I hate that you have to be using Steam Guard for the 2 Factor. Because Steam Guard is a bit clunky. 
I'm glad I predicted the move it, the turn he'd get out of confusion. Steam Guard is a bit clunky, uh, because, yeah, if you get logged out, Steam Guard ceases to give you the correct information. I assume maybe the thing they do is that they keep cycling the, uh, the two-factor underlying, um, you know, code, and that way then, you know, people, you know, are permanent, well, not permanently, but people are regularly safe from two-factor. Because the problem with two-factor is, uh, well, if someone knows the code, which can happen a bunch of, uh, in a bunch of ways, um, and you can do it through, like, pattern matching, like, you can just go, hey, your two-factor code has gotten these, you know, numbers in this sequence. I'm now super aware of how your two-factor works. You know. Uh... Let's get Sedimentar going. Right away. Right off the bat. Keep Reeboks on the side. Uh, I could get him with a Yawn, but I'll keep... I'll get him to get burned, basically. That seems to be the strat. Nice. Nice. Good start. Oh, you're withdrawing! You're withdrawing right away. I wouldn't mind if you got burned, like, right right now. Um, I guess I could use Smog. That'd be a weird move. But, I would just get killed. Yeah, okay. Okay, um... Yeah, uh, a lot of my team's gonna get earthquaked, basically. Uh... I feel like Kiparon is probably my strat. And, uh, just commit to the strength, basically. It's gonna use Aerial A, so it'll do a bit of damage, but... I think I can commit to the strength while he doesn't have, um, you know, Dragon Dance kind of used yet. I've got enough health that I can start spamming some Sodi Pops while I wait. Uh, so anyway, the, uh, you know, he's going about his business. He doesn't know that his session to <sighs> he doesn't know that his session token's been compromised, because how can you know, basically? The only way you can know is when you, if you regularly, uh, log out of all devices, and then the session token is moved. Um, but, uh, he's going about his business, and then suddenly he gets a message on Steam from a, uh, a Rosaline, uh, person, you know, a real name, just going, Hi, I am of official Valve Steam support. Uh, have you, you know, your account is breaching terms and service or something like that. And we, you know, we request that you, uh, you know, follow our instructions or else your account will get, uh, you know, deleted, basically. You know, it's fear-mongering stuff like, oh, please act now or else, you know, everything will be lost. Your whole account, all of your games, blah, that kind of stuff. Uh, so obviously... The first thing my mate did was he actually messaged uh, my group. And, you know, that's a good thing. That's a good move. If you ever get a hit with a scam, the first thing to do is ask your mates. Because the obvious thing is, yeah, this is kind of bull honky. To begin with. Whoa. Hey! Hey! Hey, the B! The B! waiting for a crit, and that was all I really needed. Um... I kinda wanna do a cast form, but... I don't think Skarmory is actually weak to ice. I don't, I don't think this is really, like... Uh, it's okay. Let's have a go. Let's have a crack. But at this point as well, like, Skarmory is a little bit weakened as well, so... Yeah, let's do it! Can't sand attack my hail. Oh no, I missed. The hail missed. Uh, I think steel is resistant to hail though, so he's not going to take any damage from it. Is it steel or is it just ice? I don't know. I guess it's just ice. What am I thinking of? There's a certain uh, weather effect. Maybe it's a um, sandstorm. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. So he might hit with a bit of damage. Oh, wait. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops, guess what's super effective against ice? Wing it, cost for- Wow. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, you got enough time to commit rain dance? Nope. Nope. Thanks, Glass Form. Appreciate it. Uh. I'll, I'll commit Riff Raff to being a healing for, for Marsh Tomp. I don't trust doing this fight. Ouchies. Um, so anyway, so he messaged uh, me and the boys, and uh, yeah, we're looking at it going, this is clearly a, you know, a scammer. This is clearly like someone just trying to get your information. Now, the first thing you could obviously do with a scammer is ignore them. Now, it's very tempting to message them and, like, meme on them, but real talk, that's a lot of effort. I don't think it's really worth the time to, to do it, and honestly, I would prefer not giving away anything about me to a rando. I, I feel better just letting them suffer, letting them try. Uh, but the other thing was, he was playing V Rising at the time with uh, a bunch of his mates, and, uh... He realized that his mates were blocked on Steam. Like, as in all of his friends were blocked, and he was like, that's weird. And then I went to his profile going, oh, I want, you know, like, if you're blocked, then that means I can't see your profile. And then I realized his name on Steam. I was like, never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. That is totally not a graceful battle I had. I was all over the place. But sure, but sure, I will accept it. So, here's a feather badge. It's a badge, that's a feather. With the feather badge. All Pokemon up to level 70. <laughs> my my level 70 team. Even those who received your trades will obey your every command. You'll be able to use Fly outside of battle. Thank you, Fly. Also, here is a move. It contains Aerial Ace. It's speed. No. Pokemon should be able to avoid as <laughs> It's not because of the speed. These must be used in the Chaos Emerald War. Now, I have... I have Thunderbolt, don't I? Do I actually have a Pokemon that would learn Thunderbolt? Or rather that... Actually, I'm curious which Pokemon can learn Thunderbolt, first of all. I'm not actually going to teach it. Last one can learn. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I have Shockwave as an attack. Which is actually a kind of electric type. Um, yeah, Shockwave is an electric type uh, equivalent of Aerial Ace. I actually would love to teach this onto Rebox as like a fun, oh okay, kind of move. Because, now you may be thinking, why didn't I teach that before the Flying Type Gym? That is a good, uh, that is a good question. But the answer is I didn't need it, did I? <laughs> um, <laughs> God, I already had it. Jeez. Um, and Aerial Ace, you can teach on Riff Raff. You can teach on Anorith. Which makes that a very fun extra move to have. So I thought it'd be fun. Let's have an electric type move on, on one of them and a flying type move on another one. Because I'm never going to have an electric type and a flying type move otherwise. I'd say those are the best opportunities. Now, they're only 60 power attacks, but they're both also the moves that always hit, which means if I get sand attacked or they're doing double team, that doesn't catch me out. Those two Pokemon will be able to, to back me up on that. And I got a decent amount of PP, and I got that type coverage that'll so make me a bit happy. So, uh, it also, I get to, yeah, <laughs> have a Pokemon that flies, which means uh, I'll just continue on, I guess. I think I'm probably going to have the flying Pokemon just casually in my party. It does mean I'm going to you know, lose one of my Pokemon just for the time being, but... Uh, Marsh Tomp, as much as I love him, uh, I shall keep him on the back burner for now. And instead, uh, we'll pull out... Uh, Wingo. <laughs> Pop him in there, just so I can get some levels on everyone else, because... Listen, Cast Form is level 25. Uh... You know, he's got he's got to find his own feet somehow. So, uh, okay, let's also teach fly. I've got Steel Wing and Overheat. I thought about Steel Wing. I'm not too sure. I feel like most of the other moves I'm probably gonna keep through leveling for the most part. Everyone, maybe there's some, but 
Six TMs already, jeez. But to be honest, that's six of the eight badges. This game is weirdly being quicker than, like, it's going along so much quicker than my, uh, my Pokemon Gold playthrough, I'll tell you that. Um, so anyway, so he noticed, yeah, his name on the Steam profile had been changed to a Steam ID. Uh, his, um, profile said he had been, like, which only he could see, by the way, because everyone else was banned, and I think they made the profile private. Uh, or, or blocked, sorry, not banned. Um, so it was kind of weird, okay. Uh, and then, that's when I went, hey, Jaden, I, <laughs> Jaden is his name, by the way. Thanks, Jaden, appreciate it. I realized that, nice, dox my mate while I'm at it. Did I find... Sosuke also has a 1% chance of appearing on this route, and I've found him as well as... as a... Cat Clown, cool. OnlyFans banned Russia. Dang it! What are you gonna do in your spare time now? I guess join the military, I guess. They didn't think that one through, did they? Uh, here is the Meryl. Uh, I might as well explain the Pokemon in this route. Um, so there's a 30% chance, uh, chance of finding Linoon. Gosh. <laughs> yes, I know. There's a, there's a kick on there. <laughs> Did you save? Yeah, I guess. Not, well, not saved, actually. <laughs> uh, might as well fight the kick on. I don't really have any intention of catching it, but... Oh, he is probably going to take me out, though. Um... But yeah, I immediately thought, okay, well, if his profile is being changed like this, he's got to start changing his stuff. He's got to start, like, you know, deauthorizing stuff. Now, I don't know what's going on. Is the Steam client super slow? Is his computer super slow? Maybe Big Brain on <laughs> Exactly. Oh, if you join the army, you can buy a VPN. True, true. Man, I thought Riff Raff would be able to take out this Kecleon. Dang it. To the Rebox! Um, so, but his client took forever to really do these things. So the first thing was, I want to deauthorize everything and also change my password. Steam does not have an easy feature to do this. If you want to change your password, you have to... Uh, click on the button on the profile that says change your password. It then asks for a Steam uh, guard, uh, you know, two-factor code, which, sure enough, you type that in. Then, once you've done that, suddenly your own Steam client prompts you with the password, and then it asks you to log in with Steam guard. Which then Steam guard pro proceeded to not give him the right codes, I guess because his password had changed, or something along the lines. Uh, if you join the Ukraine war on the Russian side, you'll get 200,000 rubles each month. I don't know how much a ruble is, but... I know here in Australia, like, we've got real decent government benefits for joining the army. Look at this power-up. Power-up? All from fighting one Kecleon. Uh... There's six salaries of a factory worker. That is either a low salary for a factory worker or a really high salary for the army person, or both. I don't think we pay anywhere near that much, but I did... When I was looking for jobs in a software, like, government jobs were really good paying. I could very easily get out of uni and immediately get, I think, like, an 80,000, 85,000 uh, Australian dollar annual job, which is pretty, pretty good. Um... I ended up settling for a place- here's a fun story fact. I ended up settling for a place that paid me $45,000 annually. They advertised 50, then they said Super was part of that, which means I really only got 45,000. And then I really didn't get that much of that because, uh, taxes on top of that. That is- that was really not that much. I think fast food employees got paid more than me. So, I left that job pretty quick. Uh, ever since then it's been uphill. But... So, uphill as in, well, I guess it's been more work and also there's been more payout in the end, so. Uh, this round's raining, by the way. So, if you got, um, Thunder as an attack, which I don't think you can at this point. Uh, you spend each month around 40k to live good life in non-capital region each month. Yeah, 
I live near a capital, so I can't tell you exactly how, how much it costs here. Typical worker salary is 30k in our city. Oh, you get 200,000 Gs. Oh, no, I'm looking at the top as well. 30k Russian rubles to Australian dollars. Okay, well, we're going to XE.com. XE, we type in 30,000. That converts to 550, 560 Australian dollars. 560 Australian dollars a month, uh, times that by 12. 60 times 12. Is my search smart enough to know this? I got, I got a, a, a link to us this 560 times table. So basically you get 1 million rubles in the end. Um, I can see what he's got, but it's probably another bird type, which means, uh, Sedimenta! Have a crack at it. Hopefully it wasn't Wingull. I was not paying attention. I got this, I got this. Just as bad as the gym leader, <laughs> jeez. Actually it wasn't, it was level 31 in the gym, wasn't it? Still not a double team. You can live 20 years without working. That's a lot of money though. That is a lot of money. Granted, I guess you're expected to keep working for a bit, like, you know, buy VPN for your whole life. That is true. Man, I'm gonna endeavor this fight. Can't endeavor it twice. Six months if you can survive. Yeah, but that's... I mean... I guess that's the trade-off. Like, on the one hand, I'm like, damn, you know, they get paid a lot. But then on the other hand, it's like... Yeah, you can get hit with a missile. Huh? That kind of stuff's scary. Like... Like, I feel like I've got a comfy job, and I will 100% say, you know, if you're out on the field there... I wholeheartedly accept why your salary is so much higher. You soared above me. Let's see if we can fight one more guy. Me, Pokemon, and my parasol. If any one of them is missing, the picture of beauty will be ruined. So, anyway, so the other Pokemon. So there's Linoon, there's Oddish, High Chances, Zigzagoon, uh, Meryl we saw, and then there's an 8% chance of Absol, uh, and then 1% chance of Surskit and Kecleon. Um, I guess you got a cast form. Sure. And since it's raining, I guess it's already water. Cool. I actually use my cast form. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Uh, in the village part of our city, one father is a good friend of my family got scared because the son is going to get mobilized. That's a problem with, uh, with, uh, you know, the draft and all that stuff. Oh, I guess he's fire type now, so... Didn't think that one... Wow! <laughs> what? Make up your mind, man. <laughs> you can't just use sunny day and then change it back to rain day. Yeah. So, anyway, so his stuff was getting changed. Now, uh, my mate was, uh, you know, his password, when he changed his password, he was unable to, um, uh, to start using Steam 2-Factor. So we had to go to the button to basically go, hey, turn off Steam 2-Factor now. Which was still 2-Factor by sending an email, but at least that was a bit more, con you know, consistent. Left the house. Uh, so without saying to his wife and two kids, he left the house and went to the recruit center. Okay. Um, the... Yeah, his... Uh, yeah, that took like so long for his phone to get disabled. Like, just long amount of time for his app to respond. Um, the... Uh, the Steam client to like figure out what it was doing. Uh, we switched to the web browser was not really the best experience. And then we had to log in again and then click deauthorize de all clients because we wanted to log out of all sessions. Now logging out of all sessions, actually he saw some stuff. Oh jeez, bro. We ninja conceal ourselves under our camouflage coats, folks. Yeah, I'm sitting pretty being in Australia. I hope we don't go over there and I hope Go over there. This was mercy. So, uh, 
let's... Uh, I don't guess he's got one, because I'm not going to be using him really, otherwise... It's because he's got one attack. Like, this is going to take his sweet time getting some... getting some experience. But he's also not got, like, two rough stats, so... I feel like it's not too bad. He's got a wing with the ice type. I guess it's actually good a lot of the time. Oh, dang, he's frozen today. No shiny form. This is not shiny Godspell, no. No shinies on my team this time around. I've never had any. I, I rarely get shinies. I mean, of course I should, but yeah. So anyway, so finally he was able to have changed his password and then deauthorize um, his, uh, his account. In that time, the person on the inside actually managed to remove four games from his account. Now these were the most recent games from his account, and I assume it took him just as long to remove the games as it took us to, uh, you know, change the password. Oh, we didn't even have a shiny form in this game. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, he had the sprite, didn't he? But it's like you couldn't be given the sprite. Uh, he's got the sprite. The sprite's always been there. But uh, his forms never had shiny versions. You, uh, if you're referring to that, yeah. Uh, but yeah, now I'm seeing uh, Pokemon Home, which would be 8th gen. And even then, he's not in the newer games, is he? Like, uh, I'm just looking for this and all these powers now again. And I'm pretty sure, like, he's not in... Yeah, he's not in Sword and Shield, and he's not in Scarlet Violet, so... The Shining, uh, Pearl and Brilliant Diamond, he has... Maybe that's... Maybe he's got it in that game. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, they managed to remove four games from his account. Now, uh, Pokemon Q got the scam from PNGs. Oof. Um, so, uh, oh my gosh. Gas form, get some experience, bro. So, the, yeah, some of his, uh, games got removed from his account. But fortunately, Steam support is very good, because, one, they always love when you bought, uh, bought a game or received a game or whatever. And then when you removed it, they don't just flat remove games from your account because obviously that'd be a silly thing. It's always compute that you have the game still. Um, and, uh, you know, they were like, oh, there's a thing in the Steam support that goes, I, like, game is not in my library. And then they were like, oh, you know, we see you recently removed this. Do you want to unremove it? And you can just click that button and you'll unremove the games. So we got the four games back. No sweat. No issue there. Got sludge. First go. Nice. Um, we got the games back, no problem, and we went through, uh, and, uh, also, I encourage, uh, my mate Jaden, shout out, again, um, to, uh, file a general Steam support ticket saying, my account got compromised. Now, here's my rule of, rule of thumb to you as a user. If your account ever gets compromised, and you get back into it, the first thing, uh, well, after you, after you've secured it, the first thing you want to do is message the support and say, Hey, my account got compromised at, like, between these times. We knew this happened, like, from this time to this time. Um, I went through these steps. I'm sure they did this. I want to know, uh, Nintendo left official, uh, left Russia officially. This is good news. Oh, I guess that means that you can pirate games without really any legal presence, can you? I don't have to walk back now. I can just, I can just fly back. For some reason, fly in a while. Look at this, though. I've kind of... I mean, this took a while to trek, didn't it? You know I'm going to probably do this route. Oh, well, we'll get to the town first. To the city. Man, it's nearly been two hours on the stream already. Jeez. It's a lot of wild Pokemon fighting. Sorry, not... It's a lot of trainer fighting. They've stacked all the trainers in this part of the game. I can log into the shop and re-download all my games. Okay. 
I swear, they've stacked all these trainers at, like, this part of the game. I s like, this feels like it's taking so much longer than any of the parts of the game before. Uh, I definitely know, um, the next stream is bound to be, uh, a stream with no gym fights. Um, and that's just because it's a bit of a trek to the next gym. Actually, I think you gotta fight Team Aqua again before you do it. It's gonna be kind of tricky to fight every single trainer, uh, but you can't buy new ones and make new Russian account. Okay. Man, it's so weird all the behavior of like having to like prevent sales and stuff. Oh, there's a Marauder. There's a Pokemon I'm never gonna, you know, encounter normally. Just cash, just, just casually. I'm gonna switch back to Castle. He seems to be having a fun time. I believe, uh... I don't really have a strat for this, do I? Because the car's eyes attacks, but... Uh, yeah, okay, we'll just go back to the car. Rebox! So I believe my Lodic's got a lot of special defense, and that might make uh, what I'm about to do kind of oof, but... Or I could just get killed with water pulse. I feel like that's gonna happen. Oh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. That was a crit as well. To be fair, we don't have uh, Swift. How are we supposed to buy games? We are not underground companies. We move all sanctioned stuff into Russia yet. I don't know what Swift is particularly. I was thinking Taylor Swift when you said that. There's a, there's a board game. It counts as a board game, doesn't it? Called uh, Twister, if anyone knows that. It's, uh, it's the, the game where you get, you just, pop, you know, you roll out a mat and it's got colored dots on it and someone spins a wheel and you're supposed to say, right hand on red, left foot on green, and then you try and do that and you, you know, it seems pretty alright, but once you start getting like three, you know, limbs in each, they're all kind of falling over each other and uh, the person who falls over last is the winner. Oh, this my life's gonna be a pain. Uh, Swift is the thing that allows you to buy things from other countries. Oh, is it like a like a, a postal proxy, basically? So it's like you say stuff goes to this mailbox, but it actually goes to another mailbox. Or is it like an international? Without it, you can't buy anything not in your country. Oh no, I didn't want to get confused. Man, I'm gonna get swept by a melodic. Alright, come on, give me the lucky sauce. Okay, we're good, we're good. And a crit too? Done. Uh. Yeah, okay, Riff Raff might have this. Maybe. Boss of my loaded. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot. I keep, forget I keep forgetting what moves are super effective. It's been so long now. Imagine if Australia got out of Swift, you can't buy games from virtual shops, you can't even buy stuff from Amazon and so on. I don't what is hold on, legit, because this is the first time I'm hearing of Swift. Uh, what is Swift? How is it being used against Russia? Okay, there's actually a whole Wikipedia page against this. Uh, Swift is used by thousands of financial institutions in more than 200 countries, including Russia, and provides a secure messaging system to facilitate cross-border money transfers. According to the Russian National Swift Association, around 300 banks use Swift in Russia, with more than half of Russian uh, of Russian credit institutions represented in SWIFT, Russia has the second highest user base after the United States. Uh, basically, then a lot of stuff has been removed, mostly thanks to EU. Uh, so now I should look up Australia. I don't know what we do, typically. Uh, I'm just going to provide, but yeah, this is a very expensive uh, trainer fight, isn't it? We do have 
Taylor Swift. Gosh, I've also got four stores. Wow. Yeah, Swift goes, okay. Yeah, that'd be oof. That'd be oof, yeah. But then, I guess, you know, what does that lead you to do? Like, black market selling, basically? Like, hey, yeah, like, I want to buy this thing. Info before sanctions, we were the second country in the world that used dollars. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, there's a lot of Russian population in general, so. Yeah, like, that. that's, I mean, that's the thing that, you know, I feel gets encouraged. Uh... Is it necessarily... Let me switch to the hail. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get the hail in the time. Nah. Okay, so apparently, yeah, stuff the, um... You know, the gym, this... this my logic is just not at all being kind to me. Uh, okay, we'll just kick him with the slash, I guess. Gosh. I'm, I'm done for. I can't compete with the Milotic, yeah. I want to get a crit and... Nah. Nah. I was not paying much attention, but oh my goodness, this Milotic is just sweeping me. Sedimentar is just going to get killed by... Thingy. Jeez. What was I doing wrong? What... What causes Milotic to, like, absolutely annihilate me? I know my logic's kind of gnarly. Maybe it's... I can't explain it. I really can't explain it. Wow! Wow! We get swept by... by the melodic. Man. So, anyway, so the tips. The tips. I've got my, my tips of how to not get hacked. So first of all, uh, like, web browser. Generally, you know, log out every so often. Just for funsies. There are a lot of websites that I've been to where they kind of annoyingly log you out, you know, basically after like one hour of inactivity. It's kind of, it is super quick, getting logged out that quick. But on the flip side, there are sites that I've been to, um, such as a, a lot of Google sites are like this, where it's like flat out, they don't, well, uh, maybe Google's got stuff. Google might like re, um, tie the login session off something. Um, but there's some sites I've been to where like you stay logged in for, months. If you click this keep me logged in, that token just kind of exists forever. I don't think Jim 8's gonna be this bad. I don't think Jim 8's gonna be this bad. Because by that point, I'm also gonna have a lot of other Pokemon, uh, like, train up with moves. Um, and it's going to be especially a problem for, uh, Mag Cargo, if he is Mag Cargo by that point. Bro, I'm, I'm take two in this one. I know, I know he's also got a Milotic, yeah. But I don't think it'll be that bad. It's also because it's raining! It's just naturally, like, that water type just strength right there. Yeah, how much damage does this do, like, right off the bat? Okay, too much. The answer is too much. Does that Milotic have, uh, like, recover on it? I, I do wish Ninjas had a bit more defense, though, but that one's on me. That one's entirely just like on me. Oh, but the goddamn full restore. That is the annoying part, because usually you can cheese, you know, gym leaders using super effective items, or sorry, like, using healing items on Pokemon that it doesn't really make as much sense on. But here it's like, well, I got no choice. You're using that full restore on that, you know, on that move and that's it.
Also, I don't have I don't have Marsh Stomp in my party, and maybe that was a bad move, I guess. Gosh, my work's got a lot of health, ain't he? What's his base stats? What's what's my work's base stats? 95 HP, so fairly high. Uh, 60 attack, 79 defense, 100 special attack, 125 special defense, which is what I'm kind of uphill fighting right now. Um, and then 81 speed. That, that does put it as one of the like highest base stat Pokemon in the game. Definitely. Interesting that I'm having to just like come across one like right now. Like it's a really weird spot for one, isn't it? Dang it. Sometimes you're faster than me. Okay. Uh, and I, I think the other thing that's kind of annoying... I really do intend for a lot more moves to be on cast form, but... Uh, right now, it's just... You don't got nothing. He does have 69 HP, that is true. But it's also gonna get killed in one more guy, so... Yeah, the monologue's got recover, so it's like, as I just, like, start trickling. Shout out right now, it's gonna just recover the remaining bit. It's like fighting multiple Pokemon when you can't, you know, take him out. It'd be really cool if this Frozen. Okay, hard reset. Let's just roll the dice again on that one. Or do I just go out and I... I'm just gonna pull Marsh Tom. I'm just pulling Marsh Tom. I'm pulling Marsh Tom. Man. The moment I pulled Marsh Tom, it's like, oh, sweet, easy. Yeah, 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 it did like one pixel of damage. That's cast form when he knows one 40 power move. And he's not even the right, like, um, you know... He's not even hail type at that moment, so... Okay, who's the most worthless for this fight? Uh, Anorath... Mm, Slugma's too slow. Eh, Slugma. Might as well. Gosh, that's irritating. That is irritating. I'm really curious, like, what I have done wrong? I'm... Like... I feel... Because... I don't know, man. This is now two Pokemon games where I'm going, oh, like, I'm really, like, pushing the edge. I'm really just going in, slamming my head against, like, some really rough, like, team comp. And somewhat it's because I don't want to, like, just get the most obvious Pokemon. Like, a lot of people will get Absol. A lot of them will get, like, uh... Um... What's, a, what's another one that they'd use? Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just commit to this. We'll just start off with this, and then I'll just keep going. Yeah. So anyway, rules rules of, of cyber security because I need to I need to get to them before the, the stream ends. So one, uh, yeah. Uh, understand what staying logged in is like, and if you don't want to stay logged in, click log out. That will deauthorize your token, no matter what you do. Uh, well, uh, generally, the site is well broken. Uh, number two, don't share your passwords between sites, because if it's not a, a token grab, uh, which I don't know if you can truly stop token grabs, uh, but having a password uh, that is not the same as any other site, because a lot of sites will just leave passwords, it just happens all the time, it's kind of annoying, but it happens for sure. Gepperoni, my physical fighter who isn't, like, weak to water and is faster than him. Oh boy. No more Twitter in Russia? To be honest, you're kind of safe from that one. Not much good comes out of Twitter. You can always just use, like, Nidda though, can't you? 
like any like privacy based like post. I really appreciate this mod not constantly recovering. German bear can't sit in twi Twitter. Life is awesome. Yeah. Alright, well, Kipperoni's down now, so, uh, what does that mean? Rubok is gonna do the sweep, right? Right? Totally not gonna just use the hyper potion on me. It's a full restore, it's worse. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what exactly have I done wrong, because it seems that, like, one, all my Pokemon are super low level, and I've never particularly experienced that in this game. I'm taking another stab at this. I don't know, I, I think something's up. Something's up in, in my chakras right now. It's causing this fight to be apparently my death now. I'm now, what is this, retry number four? That Altaria was less issue than this one person's Milotic, apparently. Yeah, I, like, my Pokemon are lower level. I've not been skipping Zoroar... Yeah, exactly. Um, I've not particularly been skipping any trainers. I've been kind of skirting wild Pokemons a little bit, but not, like, too much. There's a lot of empty... Or, not empty, but, like, there's a lot of places where you don't have to fight wild Pokemon. Uh... All I can think of is maybe my team is generally, like, I should be just going with the, the lower level Pokemon from... Sorry, I should be going with Pokemon that I've had for longer? Maybe? Because a bunch of these Pokemon have been much more recent. I didn't save after I shifted out a... I didn't save out until I shift out Swampert. Or Marshall. Ah, oh, dang it. Gosh, I'm brain fighting. Or alternatively, we walk around this person. <laughs> nope. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice. Uh, but yeah, I... I don't know, do I consider myself the guy who's like, you got a Pokemon in your Pokemon picture and apparently you suck at playing Pokemon? Maybe. I'm the one person who's apparently finding these games hard because I set myself a challenge of playing with certain, you know, certain kinds of Pokemon and then immediately, like, regretting it. <laughs> immediately regretting it, because I'm just finding myself out of league. Is it the type coverage? I know my type coverage is rough, but I think it is the levels. I think it is, like, more the fact that, like, this is a level 30... It was 30, yeah? Altaria. That's higher level than all Pokemon on my team. I guess I'll just lead in with Swampert since he, or Marshall, since he's taken longer to take out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, someone's probably, like, figured it out. They're like, oh no, I know exactly what you're going wrong. But for me, my only explanation is that I've not been grinding. I've been constantly throwing myself forward and not just going back and fighting all the trainers that are in other areas that now have that, you know, little Pokemon symbol next to them. I've also not been generally, and, and maybe this is a, a thing that you're supposed to do. Oh, so you weren't, sorry. Um, remember that one stream in Two Reddit which ended after that one level? Deja Vu? One stream in Tomb Raider which ended after that one level. Like I'm being welcomed back to the dungeon, eh? Maybe. But yeah, this happened in um, my Pokemon Gold stream as well. When I got to the uh, Elite Four, and it was just like at that moment, I was like, wow, my team are like in the low, th like, or sorry, in the high 30s for level. And like, I clearly need something that's like close to level 50. Or at least, you know, it needs to compete against the close to level 50. 
Okay, I'm really hating recover right now though. This is irking me so much. Because the only other thing you can do is grass, and grass is special. It's like you said you'll end the stream when we finish. Oh, true, yeah. Yeah, I did do that, yeah. Granted, though, the goal is we get to the town. The town's not too far away, but... I'm too afraid to set up double team when I can get taken out too quickly. This might work on a 2.16 stream. Yeah. But I don't... I mean, I think I took longer to get to the, you know, the location last stream. I didn't even get to the location last stream. I just kind of stopped after I was very, very close to three hours. This hurts because I know I'm just gonna get, you know. I mean, I got a quick claw, but it's not quick enough for the item. I'm getting caught out because the trainer, this trainer is pulling my strats. There's no point. There's no point fighting, fighting against that full restore. I'm relying on luck again. Am I back to? I'm back to not having much shop out. Stuff it. I'm walking around this guy. Fast one would have worked good. Oh my gosh. I'm just walking around this chump. I, I don't care anymore about fighting this my load. I'm walking around this chump. I don't want to engage in that. Why'd I... Because well, he used a full resort. Like, I'm not taking him out. Cast form is not working at all. Cast form deals one pixel of damage at a time. So, stuff it. This guy's not required. How's your physical fitness? Uh, making fun of my weight, are we? Ah, uh, good old me getting irked video games. I'm pretty sure I've had, like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll leave it there. I will, I will leave the, the, me getting upset about, yeah, but it, it it's cast form against, they're using a full restore before I can attack. There's, there's nothing you can do about that. It also probably would have still taken two hits, given that much health. Ah, good old fake out. The, bit, the sworn enemy of me using Fury Cutter all the time. Oh, Battle of the Fury. Battle of the Fury. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there are some games that I stream where, uh, the, like, I don't know though, because Pokemon is a little bit luck-based, but I feel like it should be within your best ability to, uh, control that luck, to tame that luck. Um, this feels beyond luck though, this feels like, I don't know, like, I've forgotten that this, why are we dealing with this? Why, why do they keep using four stores on me? Confuse Ray and change Pokemon for Sword Stance. But that one you're relying on now two extra turns because... Well, so, oh, not two extra. You're relying on Confuse Ray lasting long enough, and you're also relying on Confuse Ray missing on one of those two turns. I don't think the odds are in my favor in that one. Also, look at this. They got a... Uh... 
Lotan, Lombra, and Nuzli. What, a, what an interesting combo. I think the uh, more apt solution would be have a Pokemon that actually evolves around level 30. Which is com coincidentally one of them. But uh, I guess the, the trouble with Cast Form, I would like to highlight this. He don't evolve. He is permanently stuck at 70 base stat for everything, which isn't the worst, but uh, it's going to be noticeably not that great. Rebox is going to evolve at level 32, which is kind of close. Alright, Mr. Crip, have a good one. Uh, Rebox is going to evolve at level 32. Uh, Riff Raff is 40, Nonogram's already evolved, Sedimentar is 38, um, and uh, Marshomp is 36, which is actually coming up pretty close. <laughs> another... another... Another invisible object there, so... Anyway, so, yeah, password, uh, use a two-factor, if you can. I don't know, it always helps. Um, because even if they do get a password, then now it's like, oh, now you've got an extra layer of security. Even if it's kind of annoying to log in, you know, all the time with the second device, uh, it is kind of worth it, because it's the idea of double locking a door. If you lose one key, the problem with double locking a door is most people put key rings, most people put both the keys on one key ring. But like, imagine you lose one set of your keys. Um, you know, no one can get in your house because there's a second set of keys needed to get into your house. Um, that's what two-factor is basically. You can then go, oh, I've lost my keys, one of them, no one can get in my house, now I will change my keys so that no one can get in my house through two layers again. That's the whole point of two-factor. Um, so if you don't use it, uh, would recommend definitely using it. Uh, number three, uh, know what the actual like lockout mechanisms in, on a uh, on a uh, page are as well. Because yeah, if someone logs in, they get uh, their own session token. Um, so not just know like how to like lock people out. Sometimes changing the password does it. There are some sites that don't do it. And it's kind of annoying, but you just have to like email some people. This is the Swift he was talking about earlier. Anyway, there's like two two trainers with like almost the same setups. So they got level 29, low tad Lombre and Nuzleaf, and then C dot Nuzleaf and Lombre. It's an interesting combo, but sure. 29. Ooh, Amnesia. Is Amnesia one of the moves I wanted to teach him? Yes, it is! Heck yeah! Uh, I don't think Yawn is really practical enough, given that I'm going to be burning people anyway, so... Amnesia is one of the moves I want to teach you. There we go. Very nice. Very good. Is it going to save me? Uh, I don't know necessarily, but... It'll be a fun move to have. Uh, what's another cybersecurity tip? Um, if you can be anonymous, be anonymous. It's, uh, very easy for, like, sometimes we go, oh, you know... He uses the same password on multiple sites, but one thing that actually really, like, prevents you from being, you know, kind of hacked or whatever is, um, actually not having the same name on different sites. There's a lot of sites you use where it's like, do they really have to have the same name as, like, another service you use? Like, my eBay. I'm not gonna use my email on eBay. Does it have to be? Oh, I'm probably gonna get knocked off by this one right now. Don, gosh Don. Cast form, you got this. You got this cast form. He's probably got this for quite a few Pokemon, but I'm I'm really not giving him the best uh best scenario. Why? Why have they got the full restores? I wish I should have a stream of me just going back and fighting old trainers now that I got fly. There's some, there is something wrong with how much damage he does with that. That's, that seems way too low. But it is, I mean, it is a special attack, and it's 38, which is I mean, even lower than Slugma. We just got Slugma on the action. No, it's probably a water gun. Oh my gosh. 
I'll just change the weather on them. Yeah. Uh, what's something else? What's something else? Um, uh, another rule. Uh, if you can do email aliases and it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg to set up, uh, would recommend doing it. Have some, uh, like... I think, can you use, like, free DNS and actually, like, get some very generic DNS names? Like, do that sometimes, if you want. Um, and just, like, yeah, have some real, like, burner emails, because that's another kind of annoying thing, is that emails are obviously stored in databases of the internet, and, uh, you know, they're persistent, so... Um, yeah, if there's like two database breaches and they see the same email address in multiple databases, you know, one, they will kind of use that to kind of learn the algorithm of, or the salting of uh, how passwords work if they can figure out two accounts that properly share passwords. Or more accounts. You know. um, but yeah, it's also like, hey, you know, this person was in this data breach, which means we can abuse him to... Um, you know, to, to kind of fish for the email credentials. If you get, like, sus emails where are like, oh, you know, watch out, your email is going to get permanently deleted. I actually got hit by one of these um, from Scorptech recently. And it was just like, yeah, like, they knew, they went into Scorptech's databases, found out who purchased from them recently, and then sent out an email um, saying, hey, you've been, like, you know, you need to pay up or something like that. Um, and specifically targeting people who are just purchased from Squawk Tech and may not know better. Uh, so that's definitely something to watch out for. Um, but if you had like a really like sus email, it'd be like, oh, like why are you getting an email from this? You know exactly where the vector was, which was, oh, Squawk Tech's been hacked. That's where, that's where my info came from, so. Um, Free box. Pokemon that strong? I'm... I... I don't know, man. I need rescue all the time. Let's send Riff Raff up the front because, uh... I got a trainer that can definitely benefit from Riff Raff's brand new moveset. I need to learn my type chart. I'll definitely tell you that. I've, I've had so many moments when I've just gotten the wrong type coverage in this game. You have to go clockwise around here. Pedal? Oh my gosh. Jeez. He's got a surf skit. How oh, cool. Uh, too bad I can use aerial ice. Oh, but he can quick attack me. Ah, uh, magic getting destroyed by the aerial ice. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Oh no, he's got another Sir Skit. What could I potentially do about that? Oh, that's a good feeling. Uh, anything else about security, I guess? Um, watch your computer as well, because, uh, yeah, I mean... There's a lot of weird, uh, ant well, sorry, there's a lot of viruses still floating around the internet and all that stuff, and, uh, I don't know, there's always vectors of getting your stuff. Um, usually if you're not downloading weird files off the internet, uh, just, if you're downloading executables, make sure you know exactly where they're coming from, because there's a lot of, uh, masquerading executables. They say they're MSI Afterburner, but no, they've slotted something in there. It's not really MSI Afterburner. You can actually like surf up and there's like, yeah, there's two hidden bases showing there. Also, I love the clouds reflecting, just scrolling across. And these puddles, you know. It's a cool effect. It's done well. More berries. Berries everywhere. Yeah, oh, what a long row though. Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't, I didn't remember this, 
like part of the game being such a long trek. You'd go between the, the cities so, so quickly uh, before, and now it's like, oh, the pacing is uh, very all over the place. But, we'll see how I go. Uh, what is that item over there? I think it's a, um... Rare candy, I think, maybe. Yeah, I should be using my rare candies now. Give the case a shake. Now pops a Pokeblock, and that Pokeblock is caught cool. eaten by Pokemon. It's an expression of love, is it? No! <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. I think that berry is rare. There actually are rare berries. I think that, like, some would be given from a... Um, like, mystery gift things. So... Are there any, like, weird trainers in there, or no? I thought that'd be, like, another trainer over here. Okay. We're almost there. There's one more route. 121. And this is the one that connects all the way to the, uh... To the end. You might actually recognize this fence, because I think I might have seen this before. There are powers beyond our understanding in the world. How many trainers are on the way? It's like five. We're on the home stretch. Uh, what have I got against Ralts? Probably scratch, I guess. Oh. I forgot my type chart again. I, I just look at it and I go, oh, still super effective. What am I doing? What am I doing? I could have been using steel. I swear I've forgotten everything about my type chart. Uh, dust skull, which means I can't use uh, normal, but I could probably use steel, I guess. Get a dust skull. Version exclusive. The version I don't have. Oh, he's got trivial pursuit. Oh, he, he does too much damage, I guess. I think he got this, Riffraff. I think he's got this. I think he's got this. Uh, so yeah, uh, if, you know, it's it's not easy scanning for viruses all the time, but definitely uh, one thing you can do as a general thing is uh, reinstall your operating system every so often. You'd be amazed how many, like, latent viruses there are. They start, you know, they don't, you know, just unleash themselves the moment you go to a sus page, although some of them do, so don't pretend, like, I'm not going to pretend that some don't, but, like, um... There's definitely, yeah, viruses out there that are just like, I'm gonna wait for a bit, and I'm just gonna get killed by a limit. Uh, so, but reinstalling your, your operating system every so often is kind of like, hey, let's just flush all the programs. You might realize, hey, there's all these programs I never use, or there's all these, like, you know, things slowing down my computer, and reinstalling made me realize how pointless they were. Um, you know, like, that kind of stuff is cool and interesting, um, if you can set, you know, if you can do that. Uh, it's not too bad reinstall reinstalling Windows. Uh, your one catch is, um, you probably want to, like, you know, flush it, you know, format your drive and start again. Uh, and that means making sure that your files are backed up and all that stuff. Uh, also, make sure your files are backed up and all that stuff, because ransomware is kind of annoying. Uh, the 3 one rule is always good. Keep three copies of your data. Uh, where two of them, oh sorry, where they're on at least two devices and one of those devices is off-site. It's a classic rule, but it's like, yeah, I mean, it's a lot harder for someone to truly block all your important files like that. Um, it's a bit of work though to, I guess, get the off-site stuff working, but... Let's get him with that Confuse Ray. Good stuff. Uh, what's another one that you can do? Um, but yeah, yeah, actually having, like, making your, um, your computer not, you know, like, you, your computer should really be more a tool to access files, and it shouldn't be your one repository for everything that you ever do, uh, because it means, yeah, if your computer goes, goes bust in some way, electrotype, um, if your computer goes bust in any way, uh, if you're, you're, you know, 
for cybersecurity in any way. Although I guess I've moved from uh, keeping your passwords and accounts safe to just keeping your computer generally safe. But I don't know. There's a certain degree of a uh, um, I guess digital hygiene, keeping your keeping your systems relatively pristine. Is that a mentor has been constantly gaining experience and he's still just like behind the curve. Once he evolves, I mean, he's probably gonna be great, but oh, until then. Man, this survivor's not having a fun time. Is he? Gee, I guess. Ah! This is where all my luck was hiding the stream, the back end. How dare you! Uh, oh my gosh, we're ready to move out to Mount Pyre. Uh, I think... Are we required to go to Mount Pyre? I think you are, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's Shepard here. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain the Pokemon on the route. So uh, in Ruby, you can find uh, Dusk Skulls. In uh, Sapphire, you can find Shepards. Uh, they're either level 26 or 28. I might as well just fly back. I'm gonna have to set a bit weakened again. Almost there, almost there. Um, again, Zigzagoons and Linoons. Kind of tired of constantly seeing Linoons. They're getting really annoying finding wild Pokemon that are that fast. Uh, Oddish, Wingull, Gloom, and still Kecleon. Interesting you can catch, uh, Gloom as well. Um, nothing really new. I guess you can catch Whalemers with the good rods. Uh, that might have been a while ago, but... Uh, <laughs> the Whalemers, uh, a bit of a trek because you can't run in the, in the trees here. But yeah, generally, yes, uh, an hour and a half, I've finally gotten to this point. Generally, keep your, your stuff in, in uh, check. Oh, bonus points as well. Uh, use uh, password managers. Password managers, like, uh, I particularly use KeePassXE. Um, the password managers keep yourself uh, in tune um, with, a, like, hey, I use this password. We got this. I can't, like, hit all the buttons. I can't, like, reset, because it's like, oh, I just fought, like, a bunch of people. Alright, we're going with the Confused Race strat. I don't think the Confused Race strat works, but... Sure, okay. Uh, see, like, yeah, like, hold on, which would I use? Shockwave or... Psybeam. Psybeam... No, Shockwave does just as much damage. I know Psybeam's got the stab, but Shockwave is super effective, so therefore it's the better attack, but... Still, you're, you're going so uphill against so much special defense. And he snapped out Confusion in one turn. It really didn't do too much. It might be a bit. It might be a bit to at least get some initial damage, I guess. I'm getting twisted. I like how they flex and they use the weak move on, on me. That's a nice touch. That's a nice, like, thing to do. Uh, is Onagram a level higher than he was before? Maybe. Alright, let's get that sword stance. Let's see the seas kick in. I don't think I think water pulse is 100 accuracy, but annoyingly water pulse can confuse. I guess right now it hasn't, but okay. So if I get a crit, then I win. We don't get the crit. We don't win. And now what we're gonna get is uh. Pain and suffering. Woo. Yeah, cast form really can't do anything. Sedimentar's just gonna get killed by like fire, you know, mortar attack. In theory, I could use amnesia, but eh, might as well. I'm got, I, I, I'm double weak. I don't think this is really gonna pay off. Man, can't believe I walked back into this mylotic. 
So, yeah, Amnesia, for reference, increases your special defense by two stages, which is very nice. But it's probably not enough to stop the Water Pulse from my loading. Oh my gosh, it was. I don't think it's going to be enough to really protect me too much more than that, especially once I've burned through all my super functions already, am I? Use one singular hyper potion, but uh, at that point it's kind of kind of moot, isn't it? Let's just get this over with. Get this over with. Every time I, I witness myself losing a Pokemon, it hurts on the inside because I know that this was one of, well, not not specifically Sapphire, but it was one of the oldest games that I've ever played, basically. Um, and the fact that I've kept a Munchlax as my profile pick for the longest time, and yet, and yet, I apparently suck at it so much. This this really does hurt because I don't think I've played really any other game on stream that I've like. I don't know, what, what do you guys think about, like, you know, when you fail in a game? To me, it hurts because I'm streaming it, and it hurts because usually when I stream a game, it's a game I know, and I play it a bunch. But here, when I'm playing Pokemon, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do things in a bit of a fun way. And instead, all I've just done is I've wasted a bit of my time, I've gone into this battle going, well, they've got one singular Milotic, and yep, that's how much damage I did to it. Little teeny 10 pixels on screen. And yet, you know, after this Milotic, you know, I breeze through like four trainers or so. No sweat. And I don't even have my Marsh Tomp on me. They're just here, this one trainer. So I must be doing something. Crazy curse. I would also add as well, um, there's lots more trainers uh, that I haven't yet fought, and I'll definitely uh, check them out because um, when, because uh, you gotta fight, um, yeah, Team Aqua again, and they're in the like level 30 camp, right at level 30, and then there's another route with um, some level, uh, actually, I think you are blocked from going. But yeah, some more, like, right on level 30 Pokemon. So... Yeah. Yeah, darn. Gosh, I hate- oh! Okay, I'm- I'm- I'm also really hating finding these Linoons. Cause it's just like, ah, oh, they're just fast. And all this is is that it's punishment for you having Pokemon that haven't evolved yet. He's level 30! He's fine, but no, he's not fine. No, I will add, uh, there was one trainer I would always... <laughs> I don't trust one or impose this fella anymore. Uh, but there would be always uh, one or I think two trainers as well. I would always camp off them. And that is right outside the daycare, there was those two... Um, uh, like Pokemon breeders with the six Pokemon teams um, and those Pokemon breeders would um, I feel like I've been fighting Linoons more often than not uh, those Pokemon breeders as you refight them their Pokemon teams start getting stronger and stronger and the fact that it was six Pokemon meant that you know they wouldn't really be too high level but you'd be able to sweep through them no issue I would always use them as like my kind of training ground I would feed up new Pokemon by fighting them a bit. Um, maybe that is, like, my kind of catch. I should be going around fighting these, uh, these new, well, these new teams that these old trainers have. Because right now I've just been kind of powering forward. Maybe that is the catch. Maybe I should go back and fight some things once I get to the next, uh, the next gym. But until then, I'm nearly there. Hexagon Maniac. 
Don't be Luna, don't be Luna. Okay, that's all Luna. Also, this is the Safari Zone. I... Is this a trainer? I don't think it is, no. I don't know. Head looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of the Pyre Pokemon. Another dead person tower, by the way. Uh, we got... I walk by, so I want to get to the... <laughs> the town just for a safety net. Good old shop it. Yeah, what am I excited for this upcoming week? Uh, I'm excited for the weather not being as cold as it is. Will you play with my delightfully pretty Pokemon? Uh... If it's a Pikachu, then sure. Oh, it's Whalmer in your picture. It's not going to be Pikachu. Oh, it's a Pikachu. Oh, I'm not using Shockwave, am I? I always love that Pikachu uses Slam. It's a very interesting move. Oh, but it's got the double team. Oh, maybe I should have been using Shockwave. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, yeah, I guess I am excited to keep playing through more Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, definitely, yeah, definitely interesting with that. Um, and I also want to have like a like a passive game because Tears of the Kingdom is definitely like you know devote your attention to that. Whereas like it's nice to just have a game that you know you tune in every so often and you can kind of like really easily pick up and put down. I know, I know Tears of the Kingdom is on the Switch, but I do like playing those kinds of games in longer sessions, whereas, uh, especially when I was playing Tony Hawk, it was like, oh, the short sessions, it's great. Here we are, Lily Cove City, aka a PC. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Pokemon City. Uh, so I might as well mention the Safari Zone. I don't have a real reason to go into it, but you can go into it right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just like that like weird little building just to the left uh, that I walked past. Uh, but the way that the Safari Zone works is that there's uh, effectively, I think, four corners of the map. Um, sort of like how First Gen worked, uh, but uh, it's one bigger map. Uh, each of the corners has different uh, Pokemon with different encounter rates, so I'm going to read out all the different Pokemon you can get. Um, so in the southeast corner you can find Oddish, Girafferig, that was a new one, uh, Dodro, I think we haven't been able to find Dodros either. This could be a sweep as well. I don't think it'll be as, it wouldn't be as bad as the Melodic because it can't recover, but... Yeah, I'm like, eh, well, I'll tell you about Manectric. It's gonna be a bit intensive. I don't know if Manectric's got the special defense. It's a bit of a defense. It's definitely got special attack, so it hitting itself is not as consequential as it could be. Whoa. Dang it! <laughs> Every time. Okay, Sedimenta! Time to shine. Oh, snap you faster than the neck trick? Maybe he's using the delayed attack. That was kind of weird. <laughs> sure. Sure, I accept it. Beat him like I beat, beat people at chess. Hit him over the head with the queen. Uh, so yeah, Dojo, I don't think we'd be able to find. Natu, I think, also is new, although we should be able to catch Natu pretty soon, I think, normally. Uh, Wobbuffet, Pikachu, which I think is the only way to get Pikachu, so if you wanted to trade that person for the Skitty, that's the only way how. Uh, and uh, Gloom. Uh, Area 2 in the southwest has all the same encounters. I think the, you know, yeah, the rates are actually the same. Yeah, no, it's the same encounters. But there's water in there, so that means you can catch Psyduck. That's cool. Uh, the Northwest has, uh, Oddish Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn's gonna be a pretty interesting one to have at this point in the game, isn't it? Uh, Gloom, Dodro, Dodrio, and Pinsa. My love, my joy, Pinsa. I love him. Uh, let's see if I can get cast form. One last, like, success run. Uh, and in the Northeast period... Fight you right away, do they? I don't think any double battles actually fight you automatically. Um, in the northeast area, you find Oddish, Vampy, 
Bloom, Natu, Zatu, and Angerfrost, as well as you can Rock Smash and find the Geodudes. Alright, I got a Slacking, which uh, means... Let's fight the Spinder first. And Hail, I guess? Slacking's gonna be a bit mean, but he's gonna miss every second attack, so... He's only... Well, I mean, the gym battle for the slacking was mean because the gym battle had such, like, strong moves on it. Um, what level was the gym battle? Because I'm thinking, like, oh, this one's 32. Which is sort of decently high, but... And now everyone gets hit by hail. Slacking is hit by hail. Riff Raff is hit by hail. And Spinder is hit by hail. Uh... Oh snap, yeah, Powder Snow hits uh, everyone, doesn't it? Does it hit everyone, or does it hit the two in front? I think it hits the two in front. It's like, um, Res Leaf is the same thing. Where, uh, it will hit both. It does a little bit of reduced damage, so it doesn't hit one for as hard as maybe it hits in a single battle, but it does hit, like, I think it does more overall damage by hitting both. And there's a bit of utility in just Hey, I don't have to pick my target. Alright, here comes the slacking again. It's not an impossible amount of damage, but it is kind of an annoyingly high amount of damage. Given how slowly I'm taking out slacking right here. So now, this counts as, I think, a single move, because there's only one target, so... I really don't have a strat, do I? <laughs> he is loafing, though. Are either of them gonna have it? I don't think they are. Um, so yeah, lots of interesting Pokémon at the Safari Zone. Uh, there's definitely, yeah, some more Pokémon uh, to find um, pretty soon. Because, uh, yeah, there's that whole route that I didn't go down, and it's just going to heal on me. Maybe this is as bad as the Milotic. Maybe, uh... But yeah, I would definitely say this is, uh, certainly more than halfway through the game. There's more, uh, I guess, things to do later game than earlier game. Like, I was like, Rubox has already been selected, man. Like, what are you doing sentiment in? So, uh, let's get Sentimental chilling in. Because this fight is taking its sweet time, apparently. Uh, let's get him with the Confuse Ray and the Amnesia. It's not really going to help me because it's probably going to physical attack, so I'll just get him with the Ember. It's a very sleepy boy. Using a whole turn just to do that. Sure. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely say we're more than halfway through the game. Um, six badges already. Uh, gonna get into the whole part of the game that involves uh, sailing around on the ocean and constantly finding wild Pokemon. Which is the, the good old meme of where the 7.8 out of 10 comes from. There's an IGN review of uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Are we still in the focus punch? I, I'm not doing a physical attack, so... But then he hits himself and kills himself in the process, so... Okay. Okay, sure. Everyone gets experience. Especially Sedimenta. So, there you go. That's as far as I... Anyway, there is that. Uh, last thing I want to do is show off the town. Show off the city. So Lily Cove City has a, uh, you know, a bunch of things going on, because it's the big city. Actually, I think I'll save it. I think I'll save it, because I've realized there's another rival battle. I know, right? We just did a rival battle, and now we're going to do another one. So I think, actually, it would be a good time to stop and then go back fight Team Aqua and all that stuff, because the rival battle is, again, a bit strong. 
catches you off guard though. You're not expecting to just like have to do another battle that close and suddenly, oh look, all my Pokemon are a bit stronger. And yet again, by the way, none of it has evolved. But until then, I think I will leave it there. Uh, look at that, we beat three hours. I beat the gym an hour ago and it just took that long to wander down south. So uh, without, uh, or rather, with that, I'd like to thank you so very, very much there. So very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you like watching me suck at Pokemon, you can uh, follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. Uh, it's, I mean, it's the usual schmoodle. I stream every week, same time, same bat week. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you, um, you know, you want to hear random ramblings from me, I'm on the Fediverse. You can follow me at uh, m.bnd.com. Uh, there's links everywhere. Uh, do you know those YouTubers who are, like just go like, yeah, follow me on Instagram and all this stuff, and then they just use like the subscribe account to basically like flex on people? I don't know, man. Like, I don't get many views on my. Well, I get enough views. I, you know, the few people who watch me, I super appreciate you all. You know, you leave comments, you chat in the chat. That means the world to me. So, thank you very much for watching. Sticking around this long. Have a good one, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late, and remember, uh, don't play, don't play Pokemon like I do, because I'm apparently doing it really wrong. <laughs>